Thank you to everyone. Welcome to Rex Lear and here's the field house for tonight's ECAC matchup between the Bulldogs of Yale University and your engineers of Rex Lear. Now let's meet tonight's starting lineups. First, the visitors from Yale. Starting in the goal, number 34, Alex Leon. On defense, number two, Gus Young. And number four, Rob O'Gara. And forward for the Bulldogs, number 20, Jesse Root. Number 18, Kenny Magasino. And number 21, John Hayden. The rest of the Yale Bulldogs, their head coach is Keith Delaney.
soon to begin this uh, evening's contest here with, against, uh, with the engineers against the Yale Bulldogs. Before we begin, we'd like to thank the Rensselaer Junior, which provides the funding for WRPI and all club-related activity of the Institute. That includes WRPI's coverage of hockey, football, and baseball. As a reminder, WRPI is on the World Wide Web. Point your browser to WRPI.org. You can pick up WRPI's broadcast 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. So long as WRPI is broadcasting, you will provide the broadcast in your feed. Once again, that is WRPI.org. WRPI Sports Center today is seeking current RPI students to make live calls of athletic events. This is one. The opportunity this season to get on the air for men's and women's hockey. For more information or express interest, contact us at WRPI.sports at RPI.edu. Getting set for this one, the defending national champion Yale Bulldogs that defeated Quinnipiac last year by a 4 0 score to win the national title. They are here at the Houston Fieldhouse. The last time RPI played a defending national champion in that following season was 2009 10. They defeated Boston University in Adaganis Arena 5 3 in December of, uh, of 09. So it's been a while since the engineers have played a team that had won the national championship the year before. Here they are playing. The Bulldogs will actually face them again at the end of the regular season on the road. So Yale wearing their road deep azure blue uniforms. RPI in their home whites as we drop the puck on the first period. Shot deep by the Bulldogs. D. LaBeouf towards the near side half wall for Higgs. Pops free towards the side and then goes back behind for Jesse Root. Root a hero in the NCAA tournament last year. He chipped off the glass. Down to Yale territory. Picked up by Gus Young. He backhands it off the glass. Knocked down by Higgs at the point. Now moving in front. Zaleski in front for Dolan. Crashed into the net. Couldn't get the shot away. Picked up high slot again. Here's Zaleski. Feeds it. Far circle. Shot from a tight angle by Haggerty. Save made by the freshman goalie Alex Lyon. And now Yale will flip it out to center. Bouncing puck controlled by Karate. Up the wall into the zone again for Higgs. Into the zone, Brock Higgs, who started the game, still out there. Played it back to the top of the circles, picked off, and moved back out to center by Stu Wilson. On the carry now is Young. He'll just chip it deep behind the RPI cage. Battling for it there is Mike Doherty. And the engineers take it away. Bubella on the carry through center, flips it near side for Matt Neal into the zone. Trying to get around his man. He's stopped up there by Obachowski. Picked up by DeVito in the near corner. To the point for LaBeouf. He'll wrist one towards goal. That one goes wide. Just missed Neal in front of the net. Looking for maybe a deflection. Now in the far corner. Leonard's down there. Chopped away from him and Bubella. Young trying to dig it free. Make it Wilson rather. To the point. Kept in by Bubella. Loose puck at the point. Kept out. No. Out to center it goes. Picked up by Leonard there. He'll flip it in off the glass. Stopped by Lyon. The engineers want to change. Minute and a half into this one. No score here. RPI and number 13, Yale from the Houston Fieldhouse. Big weekend of hockey here at RPI. Puck shot deep. Picked up by Bo Dolan behind his own net. He shoots it off the glass near side. Engineers will move it out to center. Mark Miller on the carry. Had the game tying goal last Saturday. His second of the year. Helped RPI come back and beat St. Lawrence. Engineers get it deep. Battling for it is Rogic. He's tied up and hooked. No call. Shot coming off the back of the net by Dolan. McGowan to the side of the cage. Shooting at the tight angles. Miller turning and shooting again. That time was McGowan. Going to go behind the net again. Miller fires it off the base of the cage. It pops out to the near point for Dolan. Good energy for RPI early on. Schrader to the point. He's pushed all the way out of the zone. Good battle there by Beatty. That's Matthew Beatty, the sophomore. Just forced the engineers right out of the zone. Now Dolan backhands it up the near boards for Tenorti. He'll carry in. The captain on the move. Below the hash marks he goes. Tenorti behind the net. Centering pass. And that one skipped all the way through. Out to center it goes. Parkerino on the carry for RPI. Freshman from Edina, Minnesota. Six foot one, 205 pounds. Lost the puck. It's poked away from him. Engineers will pick it up behind their own to get net. It's Reno. Back to Karate. And now on the carry is Tenorti once more. Through the neutral zone he goes. Crosses center into Yale territory. He'll play it down low and try to chase after himself. Runs into his man. That was Gus Young. Topped around by Root. Big collision behind the net by Wood. And now carry to the RPI zone. Two on two. A wrist shot and a glove save. Seen and held by Diebel. Quite a lot of action here in the first period. And the, just about four, uh, three minutes gone by. Engineers there. Not making too many mistakes but they uh, they're putting a lot of pressure on the goal and really make, uh, winning the battles behind the net is what they need to do and really coming out strong, trying to get that goal, uh, which is often seen as uh, something that RPI has always been good at, getting on the board first. And But here is uh, 
now we got the face off of Savage play from a glove by Scott Ebold. All right, off the draw, a shot from a tight angle was turned away in the try by Doherty. He has four goals as a freshman for the Bulldogs so far this year in 15 games. Shot right back into the RPI zone. Loose puck picked up by the Engineers. They'll move it all the way down. This comes flipping down icing on the Engineers. As it was, Zaleski could not win the race down the ice. Yeah, there was a couple odd bounces there as a yell kind of wanted to dish it in and they tried to do a clearing attempt and uh, cut off a, probably one of the, the braces that hold the glass together and actually deflected the other way, which is kind of odd. And then there is kind of an odd bounce that actually just carried too far down and good icing. Here now we have face off in the Scott Diebold's uh, left face off circle. 16 35 here left in the first period. Still no score. Shots 3-2 RPI as the tie-up comes to the near side wall. Chipped along by LaBeouf for Higgs. Higgs will carry to center. Haggerty has to wait for him. Higgs will dump it into the far corner. In is Leonard. He backhands it down low for Higgs. Looks to cycle for Haggerty. Haggerty flipping it around. Throwing in front. Shot by Zaleski. Saved by Lyon. Quick shot from Zaleski was low and as a pad save was made. Now skated out to center come the Bulldogs. Into the RPI zone. A shot from outside. That time by Young goes wide. It comes free to the side of the RPI cage where Diebold has it covered. It was an awkward play. The puck just kind of popped to him, and he was able to smother it there. Yeah, it was kind of a blind uh, shot in on, uh, on net there from the, the, the puck came around the boards from Diebold's left side. It was kind of a shot made in, and it was uh, Rossetti right there trying to get a deflection, trying to get that the puck to kind of bounce around and evade uh, Diebold, but it landed on one in his pad, and here we got a stop, a stop of play. Face off to the left of RPI junior netminder Scott Diebold out of Buffalo, New York. Back to 500 personally on the season for him, as are the engineers at 11 and 11. This is dumped deep by Miller. Controlled by Lyon behind his own net. He takes some pressure, feeds it up the near side boards. Miller fights for it there. He digs away with McGowan. It'll go behind. Killian. He takes a hit from Miller, but avoids it and gets it free. Bad pass there, given away to McGowan, but he gives it right back. Now Hayden taps out to center ice. On the move is Tommy Fallon into the RPI zone. Fallon wrist or gloved again by Diebold. And again, good sight lines for the RPI netminder. He's able to see that shot from the top of the circle and hold on to it easily. Yeah, RPI here is not making too many stakes, but they, uh, it seems like a, you know, the Yale players there are just able to get in the right spot and just kind of break up their passes as uh, engineers trying to make something happen in the Yale zone. Yale doing a great job in actually breaking out. He's got a chance right there as Fallon coming in with a lot of speed and uh, taking a shot on and Diebold there equal to the task. Is Merlion on the draw up against Babella? RPI wins it. Behind the net, they have it now. Up the near wall to Neal. Backhands at center ice for DeVito. Chip pass ahead for Babella, who just backhands deep. Chase down behind the Yale goal. Shot around by Wittick. It's tied up in the far corner. That's Leonard pinching again. He likes to get in there. Up that wall to keep the play alive. It's picked away by Obakowski, who shoots it off the wall. And RPI will come in on goal. May not have been icing anyway. Leonard through center off the skate of Babella. He can't control. He's tied up there by Dachara. Engineers have it again in their own zone. Neal, touch pass ahead, gave it away. Dachara flips it center ice. Two on one down low they come. Doherty looking to center. Good play there by LaBeouf. Took Dachara out of the play. Couldn't get the pass across. He was looking for Wilson in front, who was open. Near point, Killian. Into the high slot, backhand on goal. Saved by Diebold with the stick, and it popped up into his glove. He'll hold on. As yeah, a Tara's backhand right there up on uh, net, Diebold and Dotry there hoping for a rebound, but came in up, had flipped up, gloved in by Diebold, take the face off here. Now Yell's moving up, bringing back the pressure and uh, against RPI with a 5 4 shots on goal. 14 40 year left in the first period, uh, RPI and Yale both tied at zero. Engineers outscored Yale by a total of 10 to 2 last year. 6-1 and 4-1 victories. It was a 4-1 win here at the Fieldhouse for RPI. And there's an offside whistle. Hayden was still in the RPI zone when he took that pass. And so we'll have a faceoff coming outside the RPI zone. Just about five and a half in here. Still scoreless. And here's a... Uh, but the, uh, looks like they're naming their stakes. Here they're going to have a fa- uh, faceoff in the center ice here. Is, uh, usually is a sign when the referee's ex- uh, line's going to make a mistake. And we do have a center ice draw. Tap to the RPI blue line. Out to center by the engineers. That'll skip by Higgs. Haggerty pokes at it. Three to O'Gara at the point. He's kind of in no man's land. Flipped along by Haggerty. He had two teammates. Didn't find either of them. Is shot back out to center. Here's Luke Karate at center ice for the engineers. He'll carry in. 
had to deal with his own teammate's leg. That was Zaleski had to stick handle around him. Now a shot all the way down the ice. This will be icing on Yale. Dolan with no one to contest the race down the ice. It'll be a faceoff coming deep in Yale territory. Yeah, it's kind of a, I mean, Dolan there wasn't actually uh, preferred, but he was actually a little bit too further out uh, from the boards. And uh, it actually kind of worked out better for him is the, the puck was actually shot down pretty uh, pretty fast. And uh, good thing he couldn't actually reach and get the icing. But, you know, if it was slow enough, he would have had uh, a puck behind him. Off the draw, shot over the top by Haggerty. That's the play they have set up. As Haggerty sitting in that one-time slot. Nice play at the line by LaBeouf to keep it. Walking in, Arister in a glove save by Lyon. Had a man in front. It was Higgs, and even his teammate Lyon may have been a cause for a little bit of a screen, but he's able to glove it. Yeah, Guy LaBeouf there taking a little drag and just waiting for an open channel, hoping to get a screen on Lyon there of Yale. And he just kept waiting, waiting. He had the time, just waiting for an open channel. Uh, that's path, and, but Lyon there, equal to task, he saw it the whole way and just glove it down. LaBeouf, the team's top scoring blue liner as far as points, or excuse me, goals go with three. Nearly had his fourth there. Yale out to center on the carry, comes Doherty, he'll chip it deep. Craig Bokenford to get it for RPI. He'll backhand it behind for LaBeouf. Pick it, picked off the side of the cage now, back to the point for Yale. Whittick a shot that's way wide, looking to just feed into the corner. Poked at by Bokenford, trying to get out of the zone, can't do so. Wood now has it for the engineers. Back to LaBeouf, now near side of his own zone for Bokenfor. To the RPI blue line, Rogic ahead for Wood. Too far for him. Will it be icing? No, they wave it off at the last second. Big hit behind the Yale goal by Wood. Puck comes free to the far point, chipped out to center. And coming over from his near side spot is Leonard. Quick pass ahead for Wood. Into the zone he goes from the point. He'll just flip it behind the Yale goal. Around to the far side it goes. Tapped in the air out to center. And controlled by the engineers is Leonard. Near side for McGowan. Ahead for Miller. Nice play to keep the puck alive. He'll carry down low into the corner. Battles with Killian. Killian works it free. Good hit by Schrader, but he lost his stick in the process on Beatty. Puck comes loose to the RPI line. Dolan goes D to D to Reno. Reno ahead for Miller into the zone. Getting slashed out a bit by Beatty. Still gets the shot away. It was blocked away into the corner. Schrader takes a shove there from Matt Killian, junior out of Basking Ridge, New Jersey. Loose at the side of the cage. It slammed out to the far side half wall. Miller puts a shoulder into his man. That's Ruffalo. And now skating with it through center is Fallon. Fallon just dump in. Engineers will go back to get it behind their own net. Coming up on eight minutes in here. First period, no score. RPI and 13th ranked Yale as Babella dumps it deep. Gus Young back to get it for Yale. Shot up the far boards, picked up by Agostino. Calgary Flames draft pick gave it away to Neal. Neal into the zone. Below the dots he goes. Bank pass off the wall for himself. Neal holding behind the net. Centering pass all the way through. He's looking for Babella. Couldn't control the pass. Now Agostino out to center. He gets roughed up by LaBeouf. And a penalty's coming here. They're going to get him for hooking. They might get both. As Agostino not happy about it. And I'm wondering what they're call on him. Maybe a hook slash holding the stick. Yeah, I want to say diving too, also possibly, but we'll have to see on that. But yeah, it was like a hold, hook. Uh, RPI really probably should have got the uh, penalty yeah. on that one. I uh, agree with you on that. Uh, yeah, definitely a hook. Yeah, definitely a hook. It looked like a hook from here. But we're getting matching, and this is what I'm curious about. Uh, so Gila Bus going off. The hook was clear. I'm really... It's going to be either be embellishment or holding the stick. Yeah. Let's see what they come diving, up with. Yeah. yeah. Uh, hooking on both of them. Okay. No. All right. Kenny uh, Agostino's going off there. Oh, embellishment is actually they're going to call. So, yeah. yeah, that makes sense. So, we're skating four on four here as RPI will dump it deep. 11.30 left in a scoreless first period. Behind the Yale goal. It's tapped around on the near side. Losing an edge and going down hard. Engineers pick it up. High slot Higgs. Feeds it across for Bokenfor. Has to settle a bouncing puck at the wall. He'll control there, shielding at the point. And Bokenfor just shoots it right in the middle of the slot where it's picked away by Fallon. Ahead for Doherty. On the carry. Shoots it off the glove and leg of Bokenfor. Made a real mess of it, but the engineers take it right back. Here comes Higgs on the carry. Two on two to the line with a bulldog trailing. Now Higgs. Feeds it to Karate. A one-timer and a save. Karate came all the way down below the top of the circle. To get that one-timer away, but he couldn't get it past the glove of Lyon. 
Yeah, it's kind of tricky. Uh, you know, th this is going to bode well when you have four and four hockey here for uh, both teams. Like considering there's a lot of speed and uh, good passing, this is going to you're going to see a lot more uh, opportunities open up here. And there we kind of see one with Luke Carardi. Uh, it's probably he kind of took that shot like a one-time shot on goal. Is the goalie was not screened at all, and he seemed like he had a little bit of time to kind of play with it. But face off here to the right. Yeah, Karate shot that right into the pads actually of line before he was able to glove it to the side. RPI out of their own end, controlling Dolan. Lost it in the skates of Zalaski. Just shoots it up the wall. Didn't want to risk any more danger there. Young saucer pass up the boards for Root. Gave it away. Zaleski in the high slot, feeds it near side for Neal. Neal chops it down low, and the Bulldogs will take over. Jesse Root near side of his own zone. Shot far side by Young to O'Gara. O'Gara rips one off the glass behind the RPI goal, caroms all the way out to center, where it's picked up by Zaleski. Zaleski on the move with Schrader in front of him, stopped up at the half boards. Loose between some skates. Schrader nearly came away with it. Now it's out to center. Bokenfor claims it for the engineers on the center ice logo. Near side for Leonard. Throws it right into the, to Ruffalo. And now into the zone. The Bulldogs slowly, however, at the point. Weberg had it knocked away from him. And it's picked up by the engineers. Leonard. Chipping it along. Two centers softly towards the Yale bench. It's shot right back uh, by Obakowski. Engineers have it. We are now back to... Five aside as both men are out of the box. Leonard crosses center and dumps in. Rolls around behind, stopped up by Lyons. He leaves it there for Obakowski. Obakowski on the move, sophomore on a West Bloomfield, Michigan. Gets it to the RPI line where Fallon dumps it deep. Rolled around to the near corner. Picked away by the engineers. Tied up a bit with one of the referees over there. Looked like it was Brian Hicks into the Yale zone. They control again. Obakowski through center. Poked at but not controlled by Dechara. Right in front of the RPI bench. There's a pile up there. Puck comes free to the engineers in their own zone. Karate in the air. Bouncing puck. Doesn't really connect. Picked away by Wittick. Wittick near side for Bukowski. Loose in the neutral zone. Picked up by Tenorti. He'll skate it strongly into the zone. Into the corner it goes near side. Throwing a shoulder there it was Tenorti. Puck comes free. The Bulldogs have it. Obakowski takes a big hit. Zaleski comes away with a pocket center ice. All by himself into the zone. One on three. Drop pass. Haggerty walking in. Fakes a shot. Takes a shot. He scores! Ryan Haggerty made a move. Made Lions flinch. And then he put it right by him. Yeah, it was kind of a uh, fortunate there uh, that uh, Yale had left a man in convert. And that was Ryan Haggerty. That puck was kind of left out. And I'm not sure if it was Lasky or Miller walking it, uh, taking it in. Or Leonard, sorry taking it in and he got tied up with a yellow bulldog the puck was left behind him Haggerty picked it up jumped on that and as he skated out from uh, from Lions right to left side he made a little flinch took his time and found his spot and took a shot in uh, top right corner and RPI gets a 1-0 lead Haggerty with his 22nd of the year as the engineers on top here 8.30 to go in the first period. An even strength goal for RPI. At least one assist to Zaleski. As the puck back out to center, we'll have a whistle here and an offside call. That will stop the clock. Clock's still running, in fact. We'll have to put some time back up there. But Haggerty gets the goal. As I mentioned, his 22nd of the year. Uh, now, Ryan, coming in, Johnny Gaudreau of Boston College uh, had a, a .89 goals per game average. Now, Haggerty come in, came in at .88. So, Right now, fractionally ahead of Johnny Gaudreau in the goals per game scoring, I guess, race. And uh, what's the game play difference? 27 for Gaudreau, 24 for Haggerty. This is his 25th game. So, yeah. If you're keeping track, if you're keeping track at home, a slight edge in goals per game now for Ryan Haggerty. Back to the point for LaBeouf. He'll take a wrist shot from the point. Caroms off the back wall for Schrader. Schrader down low for McGowan. McGowan working into the far corner, takes a hit, and a big one there from Hayden. He'll cycle, however, with Schrader. Cup comes free to McGowan now. He'll throw it towards the net. Loose for Schrader. Backhand save. Rebound Miller. A couple of cracks at it, and that one went wide eventually. Picked up by Miller in the near corner. This line was solid against St. Lawrence. They continue that play here early in the first period now. Schrader, McGowan, and Miller. Gus Young with a chance to clear the center. Intercepted nicely. Good read there by Leonard. The engineers are still offside. They have to touch up. They do. 
That'll slow up the forecheck just a bit. Quick outlet pass to the line, but across the line too early was Agostino. And now we'll get the faceoff in the Yale zone. 7.32 to go first period. RPI leading 1-0. Yeah, Agostino there had a, I mean, it was a great leadoff pass to him and uh, great opportunity. Uh, but he just jumped a little too far. You probably had like a step or two against the RPI defenseman. You probably would have had some of a decent shot on goal. But going back there, RPI here is, uh, had a great opportunity in their own zone. Just uh, RPI really kept uh, taking the momentum from their first goal, trying to build off that. And uh, there they almost had, as the puck was kind of out in front, and Yell struggling, RPI almost got the second goal. Defensive zone faceoff win for the Bulldogs to center off of Learned. And engineers will just throw it off the glass out to center. Outlet pass again. This could be icing unless Learned wins the race, and he does. Karate just pushes him aside, however. Now Learned and Karate battle for the puck. Reno comes over as well. Learned to the point. Fallon takes a wrister through traffic, and he scores. Over the shoulder of Diebold. He didn't see it at all. We're tied at one. Yeah, this uh, shot that blue line, it wasn't exactly extremely fast. It was a wrist shot from a quite long distance, and uh, and that just went through all the way, and Diebold, uh, it looked like he just did not see it at all and until it passed right by him. He actually made a reaction, and that's tough when you have players in front. If you get screened properly and and uh, just beat you uh, top side, and here we've got pretty much uh, almost equivalent goals coming to both teams here. Fifth goal of the year for Tommy Fallon, the junior out of Plymouth, Minnesota. Has this game all tied up. Johnny Rogic in his own zone towards the point. Intercepted and shot deep by Beatty for Yale. Side of the cage, LaBeouf chips it far side for Tenorti. Tenorti back behind for LaBeouf. Settles a bounding puck. He'll spin back behind his own cage. Guy LaBeouf, the senior, on the move out of West Palm Beach, Florida. Ahead for Rogic with speed into the zone. Trying to drag it with him. He's taken down. It goes right into the yellow goal. Knocks the net off its moorings. Fans want a penalty. I don't think they're going to get it. Looked like Rogic may have just lost an edge here. And it looks like yeah, the ref's going to send it out also. Uh, the faceoff won't remain in the zone. And uh, is uh, Rogic there sliding right into the goalie. And uh, actually for the five hole, I believe the uh, goalie had to do, uh, do a split and a jump there. And, and uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> and uh, he took out the goal perfectly. And uh, the faceoff will come outside of the yellow zone. 6.29 here, left in the first period. Yell and RPI are tied at one. Tossed from the dot is Stu Wilson, apparently. That'll mix things up. Face off just outside the Yale zone. One by the Bulldogs cleanly. O'Gara goes across for Young. Chipping it deep. Diebold's going to get there. Backhanded far side corner for Haggerty. Has some space. Closed off by Wilson ahead for Zaleski. Zaleski, he'll backhand it deep. Played along by line to the corner. Centering pass. Nearly got to Higgs. He picks it up anyway to the point. Wrist shot Dolan. That one goes wide. Caroms around towards the near half boards. Intercepted on the clearance by Higgs. Tried to shoot it off the glass. Couldn't get it by Doherty. Now it is out to center. Haggerty plays it back for Dolan. Dolan crosses center. He'll feed it into the far corner. Bounces back behind the yellow goal for Lyon. Lyon around far side for Young. Young to center ice. Stopped up there by Schrader. Fighting for it, comes free to the RPI defense. They'll shoot it back in. Near corner it goes. 5.39 to go in the first period. 1-1 your score, RPI and Yale. Shots 8-6 engineers. That pass is redirected out to center, controlled by the engineers. Schrader shooting it in, picks it up in the slot. Schrader tried to walk away with it. His stick was lifted. Now Agostino back the other way, 2-on-2 two two for Yale. Into the zone near side, drops it back. Root trying to feed it in front. Good back check by McGowan to break things up. They were looking for the man in front of the net. That was John Hayden. This one will go into the Yale bench. We'll get another stoppage. 5-12 on the clock in a tie game 1-1. Yeah, you know, I really like when these two teams play because they always play with a lot of speed and uh, a lot of uh, passing. And uh, it just always seems like they're never really kind of more of a puck a battle in the corner type of deal. But it's just a lot more crisp passing and a lot more speed, a lot more flow to this game. It's always enjoyable to see. And uh, already we have two goals and uh, in just 15 minutes gone by here in the first. Faced off. Shot into the RPI zone by Obakowski. This should be icing. No, they wave it off. Say Dolan could get there. That one gets past DeVito. Kept in at the far point by Orzetti for Yale. Behind the net. Kicked at by Bokenfor. 
Still Boken for on the move. He's forcing his way up the wall. Now he runs into Orzetti. DeVito tries to dig it free. Now it's finally picked away by Babella, who goes back behind his own net to the far corner. Babella shot near side behind Neal, who spins around and controls the puck. Matt Neal into the zone. He'll carry behind. Still Neal being watched there by Obakowski. Still Matt Neal. Near side to Vito. He walks into the circle. Takes a shot looking for that top corner. Goes high. It'll come down off the dasher along the far side half boards where Leonard pinches in again. DeVito runs into his man. That was Wittick. Controlled now by Obakowski. He'll shoot it off the glass. Out to center. Knocked down right at the blue line by LeBuff who fires it in off Weberg. Controlled again by Obakowski. Far side Hayden. He'll carry into the RPI zone. Flipping it into the corner. He'll chase it down himself. Hayden watched by Leonard. Leonard ties him up now. Trying to come help out was Agostino. He's tied up by Rogic. Root from a tight angle. Shot goes wide. All the way to the near point where it's kept in by Killian. Agostino. Down low. Intercepted by the engineers. They'll have a chance to move out to center now. Miller ahead for Rogic. Rogic into the zone. Carries top of the near circle. Trying to feed it in front. Picked up. No. Tenorti couldn't control the pass. It was knocked away from him. Now Hayden back the other way for Yale. Into the RPI zone route. Quick shot saved by Diebold on the pad. Near side point. Engineers will move it out to center ice once more. Wood on the carry. He'll dump in. Chasing after it there. Runs his man over to the crowd's approval, but not to the referee as he just ran six foot four, 205 Rob O'Gara into the back wall. They're going to get interference. Puck was there. I want to see that one again, but uh, a penalty coming up here on the freshman, Matt Wood. I think this is Jake what, Wood, excuse me. yeah, Jake Wood here is going to go off, and I think it's the, probably the right call. And the thing is, the puck was in the area, but the puck was closer to Wood, and it seemed like he just did not want to play the puck, and essentially went after the guy. And uh, I think that's uh, probably a fair call. It's uh, something you really should not do. You should always be playing the puck, you know. And Jake Wood here is going off, and this is the second penalty. This will be the first power play opportunity uh, to Yale. The first power play opportunity for any team thus far. And, uh, yeah, get, uh, uh, upon second look, yeah, I can, agree, I can agree with that call. He didn't make an effort to play the puck. A lot of times you can get away with it if the puck's in the vicinity. Uh, it looked kind of a dangerous hit also this little bit where the location was. And, but, yeah. Either way, power play chance here for the Bulldogs. The first for either team. There were uh, two matching penalties earlier in this game. Picked up by Gilabov. Far side of his own zone. Off the glass. Can't get it out of the zone. O'Gara keeps it in. Bounce towards the blue line. Moved out to center by the Engineers. Although it shot right back the other way. Picked up by Young. Into the RPI zone. It shot around to the far corner. Wilson feeds it down low. Leonard knocking it to the near side. Comes to the point for Young. He shoots it off the wall. Tie up. Into the corner it goes. Put into the boards was Doherty. Now Leonard's taken down. Free to the near point again. Young to a glove to keep it down. Now Wilson into the circle. Takes a shot. Save. Rebound to the far circle. And no one's able to pounce on the rebound. Picked up by the engineers. They'll move it to the near corner. Leonard trying to get it out. And he does all the way down. Two and a half to go in the first period. 1-1 the score. As Jake Woods in the box for another minute five. Uh, Yale on the power play this year. Just 17.5%. Eighth in the conference, 37th in the nation. As it shot off the glass by Dolan, that was well placed. All the way down it goes once more. RPI on the kill. They are 81.7%. That's good for fourth in ECAC hockey. 29th overall. Into the zone. Agostino shoots it near side. Obakowski feeding it in front, looking for Agostino. Couldn't get his stick on it. Trickles to the far corner. Off a skate of karate. Engineers have a chance to clear, and they'll shoot it off the glass. And that was a well-placed... Q shot there from Neal. Moves it out to center. Fallon to the RPI line for Hayden. Far point. Fed across near side. Poked out to center. Zaleski trying to get there. Zaleski shorthanded into the zone. It takes a slapper and he scores! What an individual effort there by Mike Zaleski. A shorthanded goal. And the engineers take the lead 2-1. to one. That was really interesting. You know, it's Mike Zaleski is right he quite a bit of speed and got past the defenseman. I'm not sure whether the Yale players looked exhausted, but it almost seemed like they kind of let him go just a little bit and have an extra step on him. And Zlaski, I think he had a player to his right, but he just ended up just winding it up and just kind of a half slap shot, not a full, but uh, just enough quick and enough time and just beat him in the right spot. Just perfect placement in the top, right, uh, top left corner of uh, Lyon. Shot for Zaleski is a goal. 
That's his seventh of the season. He's been hot as of late. I believe uh, that his goal is in four of five games. Or even four in a row, I think. For Zaleski, I'll have to track that number down. Shot from center ice by LaBeouf, who has scored from that distance so far this year, but that one much easier to handle for a line. It's 2-1 to one RPI. Still shorthanded are the engineers. Two center ice shot deep by O'Gara. Diebold's going to stop it behind his own net. LaBeouf will try to slam it out, and he does. Picked up near side neutral zone by Young. Goes D to D to O'Gara. Up the far boards. Nearly picked off by the engineers. Leonard backhands it out to center. Babella has it all tied up into the zone. Offside are the Bulldogs. 108 to go in the first. Engineers back on top by a goal. 2-1. to one. Uh, that was a great break there for uh, Zlaski, and they, they capitalized on it, too. And You know, you're kind of looking at well, a minute and a half, just kind of the penalty killing, and you get a puck out, and you, great effort by him just to kind of, he knows he has a step, and he, and he gained a couple more and take the shot and gets the uh, shorthanded goal. Up the near wall, picked up by Obakowski. He goes D to D to Fallon. Back to Obakowski now near side boards to the RPI line. Knocked deep by Doherty. Karate trying to shoot it off the glass. Kept it at the point by Obakowski. Takes a hit from Tenorti. Tenorti sprawling to get the puck out of the zone and does. Near side, RPI zone. Icing is the call as they'll say uh, that the man who shot it in, it was Tachara, uh, did not cross the red line. Yeah. There's uh, RPI. It looked like they had a pretty good break on their own blue line, but it's uh, not exactly sure. I want to see Guy LaBeouf or whoever uh, was there, but he actually went to, to, took the body instead of play the puck, and then he probably had an opportunity to take it the other way, but, uh, but either way, all he seems to call. LaBeouf from the point, and that one skips into the far corner, poked at by one hand with Haggerty, and now the Bulldogs have it. Fallon behind his own net being Hester there by Tenorti. Fallon on the move far side of his own zone. Chips it off the glass. It'll come down at center ice. Controlled by Babella. Milos Babella up the far wall for no one in particular. Actually, there's someone over there. I just can't see him. It's Haggerty. Shot in from center ice on a drive by LaBeouf. He continues to try and snipe from the center. Save again by line, of course. And now back the other way comes Beatty into the RPI zone. Backhanded uh, blocker save. Loose at the top of the crease. Still loose now. A shot from the point was blocked. There's four engineers there, and they clear it out to the center. That puck wasn't getting to Diebold as the horn will end period number one. The engineers on top, two to one. An even strength goal and a shorthanded goal for the engineers in the period. Yeah, it kind of looked like the last second that the three engineers is lined up, pretty much blocked the whole path, and it's just like they would do probably when uh, in uh, soccer. Or, but, uh, yeah, looking at this period, you know, you got to love to watch this game because it's a lot of flow, a lot of action, and a lot of skating. It's not so much as the physical battles in the, in the you know, the in the corners and things like that. Wow, they do exist, and you still it's necessary to have them. But this is a lot more flowing game, a lot more passing. Things are just moving around a lot more. It seems like the, the, the puck could be in one end from one, at one time, and then it just goes the other way, and then you just get a goal, just one just shot, and nice precision. And uh, It really shows kind of a lot of the skill that comes out of these players. It's a big night here at RPI at the Houston Fieldhouse. They are honoring uh, Jerry Knightley, class of 1965. He will go into the uh, RPI Ring of Honor here, joining a, a very select few as the banners are to our left here at the Houston Fieldhouse. Adam Oates, uh, Joey Juno, along with uh, Coach Ned Harkness, and a couple of number eights, Frank Chiarelli and Bob Brinkworth, and, of course, another coach, Gary Kearns. Also number 10 uh, for the engineers. Uh, Kern's a player first, then a coach of RPI men's hockey here. So a big night. Uh, anytime you add someone to your Hall of Fame or your Ring of Honor here for the engineers, and those are some big names in RPI hockey. A uh, couple of notes on uh, the honoree. That would be Jerry Knightley. A career, 71 games, because back then uh, players were only allowed to play their sophomore, junior, and senior years. Uh, freshmen couldn't play. Uh, varsity sports here at RPI. So 71 games played total, 90 goals, 97 assists for 187 points. Uh, kind of uh, all came together as they're showing a bit of a tribute on the uh, on the board in a still fashion. Helped RPI to a Frozen Four, 1964. That team will be honored tomorrow night, Ryan. Uh, but uh, the 1963-64 season. Uh, Knightley was an All-American for one of his two times there. 
Uh, was an all tourney second team member in that season. He had 75 points, 33 goals, 42 assists in just 26 games for RPI. Uh, as I mentioned, they went all the way to the uh, Frozen Four, which was in Colorado, and uh, finished third in the NCAA tournament. Back then, they had a consolation game or a third place game. The Engineers won that, so they were third place uh, back in 1964. So, uh, Knightley about to head out to center ice, and uh, it's, it's big. You look as I talked about. They mentioned the names up there. Of course, the coaches, but also the players, Adam Ose and Joey Juno, the more recent uh, NHLers, and then of course Bob Brinkworth and Frank Chiarelli, two of the most potent scorers in the history of college hockey. You throw Jerry Knightley in that same group as well. Uh, RPI had some guys that could score some goals. I believe he had four hat tricks. Uh, Knightley did in, in that one season alone, that 1963-64 uh, season. So those guys could put the puck in the net. And uh, so Knightley coming out now with the members of his family and the crowd on their feet here and uh, really a big moment for him. Had a chance to hear him speak a little bit before the game uh, to the team and uh, also sitting down with Coach Appert and, and Kevin Beatty and uh, just a uh, bunch of interesting things to say. Told a couple stories about that, that Frozen Four. They only skated 15 guys back then. They're really just two lines. As the banner is getting set to be put up here to our left. Uh, real exciting stuff. RPI 18th president, Dr. Shirley Ann Jackson's out on the ice uh, uh, with Jim Knowlton. Let's, uh, let's tune in to, to hear what he has to say. It's a real honor for me to be inducted into the Ring of Honor, along well, I'm sorry, the lights aren't up there, but uh, along with a, an outstanding group of players uh, that you see on the banners uh, in the rafters. And when I was here, I was very fortunate to be uh, surrounded by some great hockey talent, three of whom are among the six up there on the, uh, on the banners in the rafters. Um, I just just to mention those three, the first was Ned Harkness. Um, Ned is the one who introduced me to the school. <laughs> Ned brought me to the school and he was my first coach in my sophomore year. We couldn't play as um, uh, when we were freshmen, we had to play freshman hockey, but for the big team we played uh, just for the first three years. So Ned was my coach during my sophomore year. And unfortunately, at the end of that year, uh, for whatever reason, Ned left and moved on to Cornell. And uh, that's, that's a little bit. We'll, we'll have an uh, interview tomorrow with, uh, with Jerry. I'm not sure they're able to he do it. He was replaced by Ruth Gordon. And uh, unfortunately, Ruth has stayed the one year, but um, Ruth did nothing more than lead us to the NCAA. Uh, Final Four Championships in 1964. But then, unfortunately, along for, for us, along came uh, Gary Kearns, another one of our uh, Ring of Honor uh, people. And Gary, a former alumnus and all American player in his own right basically came and, and salvaged the program that was in trouble because of all the coaching changes that we had, which resulted in the fact that there were there was no recruiting done for three consecutive years, uh, which was a problem for the program. And the third member up above is my teammate and line mate for two years, Bob Reaper. between us uh, that was hard to describe, but it sure was fun to play uh, a part of it. And uh, I think uh, together and with the rest of our teammates, we produced some pretty fair results. So it's a real honor for me to be once again a teammate with Ned and Gary and Bob up here in the Raptors in, in the Ring of Honor. I'm particularly pleased and proud tonight that I'm able to share this evening with my family, my wife Carolyn who was here, and, and some of my grandkids and my daughter, um, the rest of my family who are in the stands, 
and with many of my teammates who are in the stands, without whom I wouldn't be here tonight. So, as I say, it's a great honor for me. Thank you so very much. Well, Terry, and the rest of the fans, please turn the attention to the East End as we raise it to the Raptors. Terry Knightley joins the greats of our game of college hockey. My thanks to Gary Nutley and his family for being with us tonight. Thank you, fans, for sharing this special evening.
following sponsors, Moe's, Sackgear, GE, The Rock, CDTA, Bank of America, CDPHP, Jenny, Montgomery Scott, Great Shopper, Absco Fence, Yankee Trails, Red Front Pizza, Tri City Reynolds, DP Doe, Carabas, Army, Troy Cabinet Makers, Ben and Jerry's, Warren W. Fain, William J. Keller, and Tri City Valley Cats, all proud sponsors, RPI Hockey. Hey, fans, remember Ryan's Wait, proud to support RPI Athletics. After the game, head downtown and check out their brand new pump kitchen at Ryan's Wait. And good evening, hockey fans. We welcome you back here at the Houston, Houston Fieldhouse. And the campus of Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute in Troy, New York. My name is Ryan Clark, and I'm joined by Perilous Scaris. I'm your home for engineer hockey at 91.5 FM WRPI Troy. Tonight's action here, the RPI taking on the Yale Bulldogs. They're one here to play. RPI has a 2-1 lead. We have about 30 seconds here left to begin the second period. We'd like to thank the Rensselaer Union, which provides the funding for WRPI and all club-related activity of the Institute. That includes WRPI's coverage of hockey, football, and baseball. As a reminder, WRPI is on the World Wide Web. Point your browser to WRPI.org, and you can pick up WRPI's broadcast 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. So long as WRPI is broadcasting, we will provide the broadcast on your internet feed. Once again, that is WRPI.org. WRPI Sports is looking for RPI stupid, uh, student, students to make live calls of athletic events. This is this one. There are opportunities this season to get on the air for men's and women's hockey. For more information or express interest, contact us at wrpi-sports at rpi.edu. Thanks, Ryan. Getting set for the second period. RPI leading Yale 2-2-1. Two, two, will be Five skaters aside to start period number two. As I mentioned, an 11 to 8 advantage in shots for RPI in that first period. Two of RPI's top uh, scorers getting on the board. Ryan Haggerty scoring his 22nd of the year and 41st of its collegiate career, playing in his 96th game. A junior out of Stanford, Connecticut. Scoring first, Mike Zaleski, the sophomore. From New Hartford, New York, getting RPI's second goal. The puck's tapped into RPI territory, gloved at the side of the cage by Diebold, who was skipping by, and he'll hold on to it there. Just nine seconds into the second period, faceoff will come near side of the RPI zone. The lone goal for the Bulldogs, that would be Tommy Fallon, scoring his fifth of the year and 16th of his collegiate career. As the draw is won cleanly, back to Leonard. He'll move it up the far boards ahead and through everybody. They'll wave off the icing right through both O'Gara and uh, Higgs. Controlled by Young. Bank pass behind his own net for O'Gara up the far boards. Skips to center ice. Good find his route into the zone. Near side Agostino. Quick wrist shot right on. Good positioning there for Diebold as it was a little bit of a tight angle shot for Agostino and he's able to hold on to it. It didn't look like he had the 
points to play with there. The puck kind of came right to his sca uh, uh, skates there with a the stick in a bad position. He really didn't, couldn't get much on it. Took a shot on in the area and went right into the chest of Diebold. Here we'll face off to the right. Only 30 seconds gone by here. Second period, as mentioned before, RPI with a 2-1 lead over Yale. Slap behind the RPI goal. Matt Neal, the junior, picks it up. Feeds it ahead for Jimmy DeVito. Trying to clear it out of the zone. Can't do so, although crashing out of the zone. And with the puck comes Neal. Now ahead for Babella. He'll flick it behind the goal. Tap to the corner by Wittick. DeVito gets on it for the engineers. Behind the cage for Bubella. Uses that long reach to just poke it into the near corner. Still Bubella on the carry. Try to play it back to the point. Picks it up as it hit a skate. Bubella still fighting for it. And now the Bulldogs have it. Although they can't get it out of the zone as Bo Dolan does a nice job pinching up the boards at the near point. Still between Dolan's legs. Now it's moved out to center. DeVito has it for the Engineers. Across for Karate. Karate in the air. will be gloved down near side blue line. Carried in by Miller. Try to feed it in the middle of the ice for Dolan. That one's knocked away, and all the way down the ice it goes. Picked up by Karate. Outlet pass to the red line, knocked free. Picked up again, this time by LaBeouf at center ice. Nearly had his pocket picked uh, by Lernad, but it's picked up near corner. No, all the way free to the point. Excuse me, thought Schrader had it. He didn't. Kept alive by Leonard. Glove down, near side point by the Engineers. It was Miller, shot deep by McGowan. Lions will control for Yale. Fallon, far side wall. McGowan just steps right in and nearly picked the puck away. Although it goes behind the RPI cage. Battling for it there. Orzetti. Coming back to helm out is Lynette. To the point for the buff. A one-timer. Pad save made. Rebound. Leonard pinching. Couldn't get his stick on it. Now he does and just flings it down low for Schrader. But between his own leg pass to Miller. Centering pass Leonard. Shot was blocked. Rebound loose to the side of the net and they couldn't stick it home. Miller near corner. Back to the point. Dolan... Keeps it alive. Did he? Yes, he did. Down low for Miller. Trying to get away from a poke checker. That was Orzetti. Near side McGowan. Couldn't control the bouncing puck. He'll get to it in the near side. And just cycle down low. Fallon to get there. He's tripped up a bit but stays on the puck. Far side for Lynette. It takes a hit. And finally this group's able to make a change here for Yale. Let's see if the engineers can catch him on that change. Quickly ahead for Wood. Jake Wood into the zone. On the backhand. Gets a bump from Agostino. Lost the puck for a second. Gets back on it. Flung around by Killian. Comes right back to the near side corner to the point for Dolan. Shot towards goal. Tipped inside. What a play. And a save is made by the goaltender, Lyon. That was Tenorti right at the side of the cage. It was an awkward uh, play for Lyon because there's not a lot of room for Tenorti to tip that puck, but he nearly stuck it in. Yeah, Lyon was right there covering up that, uh, that side. That puck was kind of coming out a couple of feet left, to, left of Lyon. Tenorti, nice deflection in, but Lyon had that whole post covered. O'Gara behind his own net, trying to use it as a screen to get rid of Tenorti. Gets it out to center. Agostino knocks down a bouncing puck for Root near side. Shot goes wide. Root gets hammered off the near boards, although it looked like Rogic took the worst of that collision. Near side corner RPI zone. Trying to work it free. Bokenfor is being you know, all kinds of tied up there by Hayden. Does, gets it out to center. Spinning puck at center ice. Shot to the RPI blue line for Hayden. Ahead for Root. He... Gets hit by Bokenfor. Now Haggerty carries back the other way into the zone. Ryan Haggerty on the move. Lost it on the carry. It was poked free. Backhanded into the zone by Karate. Engineers need to touch up three of them, and they do. Gus Young from behind his own net. Up the far boards all the way down. They will blow this one for icing. Hayden looked to be at least even with Bokenfor, but they blow it dead anyway. And we're going to stop it here. Yeah, Hayden didn't actually seem to uh, put much effort even to get the face-off circle. Also, I believe he had a whole bunch of steps to actually beat, but uh, I think maybe they just uh, felt they both meet at the same time, so they take it on there, and it goes to the defense. So, And here we got an icing down to the, the yell zone. Face-off to the right of line. It's 2-1 RPI, 16-21 to go first period, or second period, excuse me. Yale trying to creep into the face-off circle over there. That was uh, Jesse Root, the senior. Back to the point. A shot by LaBeouf goes wide. Caroming near corner. Up the wall on the pinch is Leonard. Leonard back to the point for Zaleski. Down low for Leonard. There's a two of treated rolls here. Haggerty in the far corner trying to spin away from O'Gara. There was a bank pass off the back of the net. Not sure that was what he was trying to do. Now Root will skate it out to center far side. Jesse Root softly into the far corner with it. To Nordy, excuse me, Leonard rather behind. Free to the far wall for Stu Wilson. Wilson trying to make a move off the boards. Takes a shot. Save made on a tight angle by Diebold. 
It was behind the cage. Leonard poked at it. Now LaBeouf has it near side corner. Guy LaBeouf moves it out towards the blue line and now out to center. Ahead, no, goes into the RPI bench. And we'll have a stoppage here. Shots 14-10 RPI. They lead 2-1 to one here over the 13th ranked Yale Bulldogs. Yeah, I'd just say for the beginning part of the second period, it's been all RPI. And Yale doing a good job of actually keeping it equalized. But RPI doing it, uh, really putting the pressure on and setting up in their zone and actually kind of making change, uh, plays, but it's got to keep it up and, uh, as we have a face-off new choice. Dolan shooting up the near boards for DeVito. Knocked down at center ice, controlled by the engineers. Karate off the skate of Wilson. He'll carry in. Wilson on the move. Takes a wrist shot. That one skips over the top of Diebold to the far corner. Keeping it alive to Chara. Chachara at the half wall. He'll backhand deep. Good interception by Babella. Trying to move it up. It was blocked away by a skate. Back to the RPI uh, behind the net in the goal line area. Now near side boards. DeVito just scoop it in the air out to center. Obakowski up ahead for Doherty who just dumps it in. Dolan shoots it around to the near side boards RPI zone. DeVito gets enough eye to get it out to center. Fallon stick handling through center. Shoots it off the near wall. Connects there. Shot. Stick save made to the far side circle. Turning and firing through the crease on the far side was Ismerlian. And now engineers have it back out to center. Dumped back in by Fallon. Fallon or excuse me, Diebold plays it around far side, pinching in his Killian. He's tied up by Dolan. Miller there lurking. Puck still between them two, and now Karate has it. Luke Karate from behind his own net to the near side boards. Long outlet pass goes right through Neal. Pass was a little bit behind him, kind of handcuffed him, couldn't control the puck. Now Bulldogs have it. Move it just across the blue line, or a shot back in and off of Schrader. That will uh, force the ice, or excuse me, the offside whistle. 14 14 left, second period. Engineers have a 2-1 lead over Yale. Yeah, it's kind of tricky, mostly just neutral ice right here now. Just neutralized play. Both play, uh, teams are trying to make something happen. Here they got a face-off at center ice. Gloved back. This will be a hand pass on RPI, and they no one saw it. LaBeouf through center to Miller, just chips it deep. It'll be knocked down by Lyon. O'Gara plays it behind his own net for Young. Pushed to the corner, but nobody home. Miller goes to pick it up. Behind for McGowan. McGowan sticks it into the near corner. Pinching up the boards is Leonard. Leonard back for Schrader at the hash marks. Now back down low. Miller picks it up in the far corner. Mark Miller pinned against the wall by the much bigger O'Gara. Now taking a hit over there was McGowan. Free to the point. Stepping on the puck was Schrader. Now it comes trickling out to center where O'Gara has it. Far side pass. Lazzetti into the zone. Centering pass and all tied up there. Penalty coming up. As the whistle goes, Orzetti looked to be tied up just a bit in front. And a borderline between good defense and no. They're going to call high sticking on the engineers. So back to the power play goal, the Bulldogs. They're 0 for 1 so far this evening. Yeah, so you got to watch the stick. His stick kind of, he creep up and uh, as he bodies colliding, you get tied up. Stick can come fly around and you got to make sure you keep that out. Uh, the vicinity of a uh, you know, face mask. And Mark Miller here is going it off from uh, Two minute minor in for uh, high sticking. Like to remind you, you're listening to live coverage of RPI Hockey 91.5 FM WRPI Troy, Terry Lascaris, and Ryan Clark here on the call from high above the ice surface here on the catwalk at the Houston Fieldhouse. Engineers trying to kill off their second penalty of the game as the puck trickles to the near side of the engineer's zone. Zaleski trying to clear, picked up by Hayden. Fanning on the pass, he took his eye off the puck. That was Obakowski. Back out to center. It's going to be. Tommy Fallon. Fallon far side for Jesse Root. The captain drops it back in the high slot. Agostino's tied up, takes a shot. Kick save made by Diebold. Chopped at and cleared by Zaleski. All the way down it goes. Higgs gives chase. Obakowski the first one there for Yale. Actually, Lyon plays it for Agostino. Higgs still chasing, bottling up the uh, breakout, and Obakowski will now carry in. High slot, wrist shot, and a save by Diebold. Tipped off the end of his glove into the far corner. Jesse Root on it. Centering pass broken up by Leonard. Schrader in the far corner trying to clear. Hits off of somebody, but it does go out to center. Picked up by Gus Young. Young, a senior and dead of mass native. is a draft pick of the Colorado Avalanche. He'll dump it in. Rattles around to the far corner. Stu Wilson keeps it alive down low. 
Now a centering pass intercepted, and Schrader will carry out. Three on two if RPI hurries here shorthanded. Leonard in the middle. Schrader walking in. Top of the circle. Shot was deflected over the top of the net. Knocked down by Neal behind the cage. Engineers have to be careful there with the three on two rush and a killing a penalty there. Don't want to get caught too far forward. The shot from Schrader went wide. Now this could be icing on Yale, and it will be. 11.54 to go in the second. 26 seconds left on the high sticking call to Miller. Now the face off back in the Yale end. That was a pass up to Dordry there, and now it's going to came up to his, about his knee height and uh, trying to get a piece of his body there to deflect it with escape, but he was missing it, and there we get the icing. 26 seconds here remaining on the penalty to Mark Miller. Face off in the yellow zone. Face off kick to the point. Karate keeps it in far side. Spins into the corner. O'Gara behind for Young. Young will skate things out slowly down the middle of the ice. Shoots it near side for O'Gara, who slams it in. Rolls around to the far side. Skips past Higgs. Picked up in the corner by Dechara. Back to the point. Young feeds it down low, looking for Wilson. Wilson tied up by Karate. Three seconds to go in the penalty. Now Young to the slot. A shot saved by Diebold. It's right in his midsection, and he just freezes there. He knows it's inside. Now he'll scamper out of there. There's some extracurricular activity going on in the crease, and Diebold wanted none of it. Penalty kill. Yeah, I believe uh, Dachari there got a bit of deflection. It was a shot that was kind of made halfway between the face-off circles and uh, blue line. And it's just kind of rolling to the right of Diebold and took a shot. And I believe it went just deflected at the body of Dachara. And uh, I think it just it got the pet pretty much in the chest or maybe he clamped down it from his, in his armpit area and was able to hold on to it. And then a little bit of scrum afterwards, but engineers are now full strength. And the face-off will be to the left of Diebold. Jostling are Rajik and uh, is Merlian. Puck comes loose to the engineers. They'll carry out. Boken for to center ice. Near side for Haggerty. Speed into the zone. Takes a tight angle shot. Pad save. Kicked along to the corner. Haggerty gets back on it. Backhanded in front. That was blocked by one of the Yale defenders and now moved out to center ice. Beatty. Ruffalo into the zone far side. As two Bulldogs at the line at the same time. Comes free to the near side half wall. Beatty turns and shoots through traffic high over the top. Hits off the glass behind the RPI goal. To the point. A shot. And that one's picked up by the engineers. They'll move it out to center. Babella on the carry. Still Babella feeding in front for Bogenfor. Shot save. Bogenfor picks it up again. Babella takes a wrister. That one stopped and held onto this time by Lyon. Bogenfor joining the rush. He had a glorious opportunity there to add to the RPI lead, but Looked like a bit, a little bit snake bitten there, and shot it right into the goaltender. Yeah, the bulk of four played really smart. Is that Babella there got past the D, and then just the man unchecked was Bokin for, and he was left open. It was a great pass of the, by Moose Babella, and uh, actually looks like uh, he tried to go glove side. And, I take uh, that back. No, that was yeah. a good shot. I thought he shot it into him. It was a good shot by Bokin for trying to shoot it around Lyon, just right into the glove. Well placed glove for Lyon there. Still two on RPI. As the engineers. Being a little bit creative there offensively. Like to see that. Trying to add to this lead. Don't want to sit back here. Puck is picked up near side circle. McGowan trying to cycle it deep. Fallon's going to get there for Yale. He'll carry out to center. Agostino off his skate. Battled for by McGowan. He wins it again. McGowan poking into the zone. Trying to do battle with Fallon there. Gives him a couple shoves in the back. Now Fallon goes down. Puck's underneath him. Miller trying to dig it free. To the point. Pinching up the wall. That's LaBeouf. And now high slot, one-timer Schrader that deflects off the stick of Hayden into the netting. We'll have a face-off in the Yale zone. We're halfway through this one, 9.57 on the clock in the second period. RPI still up 2-1. Wow, oh, that was a smart move by Schrader. He timed that perfectly, and he's, he put himself in the right position. He's skating backwards from that pass just to actually get enough clear and get a one-time uh, slap shot and goal. But it's kind of just unfortunate that Leal you know, you know, Stick just got in the wind, deflected it up in and out. Face off into the near corner, picked up by Zaleski. Shielding the puck along the hash marks near side, throws it on goal. Save made by Line. I don't think he saw it at all. Higgs picks it up behind the cage. Haggerty along the far side boards now, gets shoved by Young. Still poking at it, it's in the air, gloved down by Gus Young, and now moved out to center. Guy LaBeouf on it for RPI, up the wall. Haggerty taps it back to Bokenfor. Nice connection to the line for Zaleski into the zone. Still Zaleski on the carry. Down low for Haggerty. 
Couldn't control the puck. Picked up by Wilson. He can't clear. Now it's turned up ice by Yale. Floated to the RPI blue line. It's gloved down and slapped right back by Guy LaBeouf. Now Doherty avoids the check into the zone. Ooh, look close at the line. The linesman says onside. Good play by Bokenfor to bottle things up. Now we're going to get a whistle here and a penalty. It's going to be a trip, and we don't know who they got. It's either going to be Bokenfor or the man who got him. I'm not sure. I'm, tr- I'm trying to figure out who actually was the They're one gonna, that fell down. But yeah. Are they going to call Bokenfor for tripping there? No, I think Yell is going to get the call, but maybe nope. <laughs> maybe both of them will get tripping because they both fell. I'm not sure. No, this is a penalty on Yale. It's okay. going to be Stu Wilson going off for tripping here. I was confused a bit. It looked like they were pointing to the RPI end of the ice for the faceoff, but that is correct. It's Stu Wilson, the sophomore, goes off. RPI's first power play chance here. Engineers on the man advantage, 18 for 99 on the year. That's 18.2%. Seventh in the conference out of 12 teams. 34th in the country on the man advantage. They'll start things out here. Leonard, near side circle, takes a shot, deflects in the air, and now it's behind the net. Tenorti trying to dig it free. He gets pushed into the backboard. Someone lost a glove. Comes free to the far point for Dolan. A slapper, loose. Dolan can't pick it up as it's cleared out by Root. All the way down it goes. Dolan will pick it up near side corner of his own zone. Leaves it off for Leonard. Engineer's power play starts right back up. Into the zone comes DeVito. Kicks it to himself. Into the corner he goes, trying to battle with Gus Young now. Far side boards. Kicked at by McGowan. Played back to the point. Here's Dolan. Faked a shot. Dolan pulls it back. Takes a wrister off the mask. Rebound to Norty. And that one stopped as well. May have hit a body in front. As sprawled out on his stomach was Lyon. Somehow that puck stayed out. Dolan, high slot. Far point McGowan. Feeds it down low. Turning in front to Vito. Rebound to Norty. Kept out by the paddle of the stick. Puck still loose. Now we get a whistle as it's covered up by the blocker hand of the goaltender, Alex Lyon. Yeah, it's kind of hard to cover with just the, the stick. And if you got your stick on a lodge inside of that post, you can't really get your hand out and covering it with your blocker pad and... Uh, that was on the right side, but a great opportunities from RPI here, winning in the buck, the puck battles in the corners, and getting them out, and getting making passes and shots, and uh, and uh, getting them on goal, and that's the right idea here. Is we got 56 seconds here remaining in the power play for the engineers. Uh, Yale on the penalty kill so far, not great. 57 uh, for 71. That's 80.3 percent in the bottom half of the country. So their special teams have not been superb for Yale this year. They've done well, of course, 5-on-5. Five five. Engineers also doing a good job 5-on-5 five five recently and have a shorthanded goal already this evening. Haggerty picks up the puck behind his own net. Has a little bit of pressure. He'll skate it out. Haggerty spins back around in his own zone. 34 seconds to go now on the RPI power play. As Zaleski avoids a hit from Agostino, drops it off for Neal. Neal will carry in. Near side chip, and it's shot right back down. So this group hasn't really started things up. It was the second power play unit for RPI who created some chances early on, but now it's Neil carrying, drops it back. We Neil on it now, near side for Bokenfor into the zone, takes a wrister, that one's saved. Picked up by Bokenfor again, centering pass, shot by Higgs, and if that pass is a little bit further out in front of Higgs, he can get more on that shot. Kind of got in on the heel of the stick, and he put it right up into the chest of Lyons. And yeah, he had a defenseman right on him and from behind, and he didn't really have much of a shot. I mean, he couldn't exactly take it backhand. He had a shoot with what he had right there because the stick would come to his right, and uh, Lyons saw that one all the way, or at least Lyons put himself in the right position. And uh, three seconds here remaining, the man advantage. Face off here to the right of Lyons. Face off one cleanly by the Bulldogs. That'll do it for the power play. As the puck comes out to center ice, back to the ice comes Wilson. Engineers just shoot it deep. Lions will leave it for Gus Young. Young will start things out down the middle, plays it far side. Dechara to the RPI line, gloved down by LaBeouf and shot back the other way. Loose puck controlled by Young, tried to play it across, broken up by Schrader, and now we get a whistle and a hand pass or grasping the puck, excuse me. It's going to be called, faceoff coming in the Yale zone. Uh, either way, getting called for that, that was the right idea because he had two RPI engineers coming in and he didn't know where exactly to drop it because they were coming on both sides. And if he dropped it, it could have been easily two on one or at least a decent odd man uh, you know, shot on the, the play on the goalie there. 
Offensive zone win. Shot from the near point by Leonard goes wide. Killian trying to move it out of the zone. Kept in at the blue line by LaBeouf. Killian back on it for the Bulldogs. Nearly taken away by Miller. It's actually now Schrader on it. Schrader cycles to the corner. Miller trying to dangle around Fallon. That doesn't work. Now Miller just knocks it deep. Picked up by Wilson. Up the far boards. Connects there. There's a man breaking. It's Tachara, and it was broken up by LaBeouf. Now it's shot in by Yale. Picked up by Karate, far corner of his own zone. Wraps it around to the near point. Schrader couldn't get it out of the zone as Wittick keeps it. Now Schrader trying to shoot it off the wall. That one's blocked again by Wittick. Engineers have it. Karate spins away from some forecheck pressure. Long outlet pass Schrader. That one just skips by Neal. Will they wave off the icing? Yes. Neal wins the race down the ice, although it shot up the dasher. By the goaltender. Now Agostino had to wait for the pass. That forced him to miss it as he's trying to stay on side. Engineers will skate back to the direction. DeVito crosses center, dumps in. Whittick will control behind his own net. Avoids the check from Babella. Sticks it into the corner. Picked up by Root. Ahead for Agostino. Cross ice pass connects. A little bit of room to work for the defenseman Obakowski. Shot was blocked away. To the near side. Now a shot deflected high into the netting. Face off will come outside the zone as that was a Yale stick. Which had the last touch. Yeah, heat in there right at the uh, the goal line to the right of Diebold. There's a deflection that was made four feet from the post. And uh, it was very dangerous. If he had the angle down uh, a little bit more, he probably uh, would have had a net. But that one just went sky out into the netting there. And the faceoff come outside of the engineer's zone. Faceoff neutralized. Puck sits on the dot for a second. And now Leonard, backhanded in the air, bouncing puck, knocked down by O'Gara. Over to Young, fanned on the first attempt to get out of the zone. Second one gets it all the way down, and it will be icing on the Bulldogs. 5.03 left, second period. Shots 25-15 to 15 now. Engineers have opened up that 10-shot gap. Just the one-goal lead, however, 2-1 to one RPI. Yeah, RPI here really, uh, really putting the pressure on uh, Yale. It's really a great setup. I mean, granted, they had the one power play opportunity but they're not able to capitalize at all uh, yet thus far. Face off. Puck goes behind that to the far corner. Haggerty poked it back down low. Higgs looking to turn away. Still Higgs in the near circle now. Higgs to the point. Flips it far point for LaBeouf. Trying to feed it towards the net. It was blocked uh, by the man out in front. That was uh, Lerned. And now carried back along by the Bulldogs. LaBeouf undercuts O'Gara as O'Gara gets it deep. Shot near side, picked up Haggerty. Cross ice pass and a dangerous one. Intercepted, uh, but offside there is a little extra shove after the whistle from Ms. Merlian. Zaleski doesn't like that. He has a couple of words for him. Yeah, it's kind of a dangerous pass, but it was all right. Dangerous pass across the blue line. It and, was. But uh, granted, the guy was offside in itself, so he kind of knew that he had no really opportunity to take it in the other way. Uh, so face-off will be straight outside of the zone. 4.33 on the clock, second period. Neutralized face-off coming here. The senior Rajik on the draw up against the Yale freshman. Uh, Chris is Merlian. He's from Highland Beach, Florida. Three goals, three assists on the season for him. Outlet pass connects to the Yale blue line. Rogic gets knocked down. Puck comes free to Tenorti, feeding it in front, and it's shot into the corner by Ismerlian. Now it's poked out to center. Killian's tied up. Now a chance here on a break. Three on one for Yale. Killian into the zone, feeding in front. Diving, sliding play by Dolan to break it up. Behind the net it goes. Not out of the woods yet. Ruffalo to the point for Fallon. Fallon, he gets bumped by Tenorti. He'll actually just dump it deep. Now Karate chops at it. Free to Tenorti off the glass and out to center. Ruffalo back to the neutral zone. Cross ice pass connects uh, to Mitch Wittick. He'll just dump it in. Takes a bounce off the dasher. Free to the near corner it comes. Karate puts his man into the board. 3.43 now to go in the second. Cross ice pass. Room to work here. Down low looking for the redirect on the pass there from Obakowski. Doesn't connect. Now a shot from the near point. Easily stick behind by Diebold. Picked up by Dolan behind the cage. Shot high off the glass. Kept in on the glove by Wittick. He'll just shoot it right back down low. Agostino looking to center. Now back to the point. Obakowski near point for Wittick. Towards the net is broken up by Dolan, who had his man tied up. That was Hayden. Behind the net again for Yale. To the far corner, Agostino. Bank pass to the point. 
Obakowski. Now Agostino, top of the circle. Near point Wittick, walking in, a shot. That one goes just wide of the goal. Maybe six inches wide of the far post on the try by Wittick, who had already carried in inside the near circle. Now they tie up in the far corner. Three engineers, two Bulldogs. Under three to go in the second. Bulldogs threatening that puck will leave the ice surface here. Agostino has a little bit of extra stick work for karate and looked like Dolan didn't like that either as they have to be separated. Yeah, that's kind of interesting how that puck got out of the zone because it seemed like it might have been caught into someone's body and then if someone just threw up their hands and that puck just <laughs> went absolutely vertical. Yeah. Uh, well, like well above the netting and uh, and uh, and, of course, a little scrum afterwards, and uh, it doesn't look like there's going to be any penalties, any nothing not matching or any roughing calls here. So the face-off will be in the engineer's zone. 2.51 here left in the second period. RPI with a 2-1 lead over Yale. No goal so far here in this second period. We are at even strength. Face-off push behind the RPI goal. Guy LaBeouf has it. Up the near boards, DeVito. Moves it out to center, looking for Rogic, controlled by the Bulldogs. Quick pass to the RPI line as Dechara threw it in front and sprawling out on his stomach to smother the puck as Diebold didn't like where that puck was headed. He'll cover it up there. Right, it's kind of interesting. That puck was not anywhere close. I mean, he didn't even go to the blue crease. It just He looked like he just wanted to maybe just redo a face-off here. And... <laughs> and uh, and uh, you know, just uh, kind of redo it. It's uh, only uh, with 237 left in a second. <laughs> it looked like he knew where he was. I just uh, wanted to face off. Yeah. So Scott Diebold has that right, and he took it there. Face off to his right. Puck on the dot. Still there. And now pushed again into the near corner of the RPI zone. Bubella chopping at it. A couple of Bulldogs there, including Dechara. And now loose to the circle. Picked up Jimmy DeVito. He will pick up speed through the neutral zone. Just dumps it into the near corner. He'll chase it down himself. Jimmy DeVito to the far corner. Now to the point. Gets by Bubella and all the way down the ice. Craig Bokenfor back to get it for RPI. Bokenfor, an assist this year. Came last game against St. Lawrence. As the engineers have it in their own zone now, Bokenfor shoots it off the glass. He's playing in his sixth game this year. Young, cross-ice pass, connects. And now carrying into the zone. Weberg, wrist shot, save. Slapped into the corner by Bokenfors. The rebound sat there for a second. Now Fallon. He'll play it into the far side. Behind by Orzetti. To the near corner it goes. Now to the point. Fallon, far point, faking a shot there. And now a shot comes, and that one's loose. Rebound saved by Diebold, and he covers up. Great chance for Weberg. No one knew where it was, including Diebold, but he got the shot away. Diebold just in a good position, made the initial save and smothered the rebound. Yeah, he was on the right side and Wedberg there. He's trying to, the puck kind of dropped out right at uh, a couple of players' skates. And the only shot he had was going to the left of Diebold. And Diebold got the right uh, on that move. And uh, his pad was uh, right there. And they keep it out of the net. Face off, he will be the right now in the engineer's zone. Zaleski pushed it back. Root trying to get his shot off. He was all tied up and never got one away. Zaleski now carries. Through center near side. Haggerty into the zone. Just on side of the engineers. No, they're not. Shot comes, but it, too close to a whistle. Bulldogs aren't going to like that Haggerty shot the puck, but that was pretty close to simultaneous with the whistle. So no penalty here to Haggerty for shooting after the whistle. Yeah, he had a, It looked like he was in motion of the shot, you know, just... Uh, Kind of the wind up and that sort of thing. Not the wind up, but uh, uh, the wrist shot, the pressure on the stick, that sort of thing. But here's the face off from outside. Neutral ice face off here. Two to one engineers. 116 left in the second period. Shots are 25 17 RPI. Puck fluttered to the far side of the neutral zone. Now it bounces back towards the red line. Knocked out of the air by Root. Near side, Agostino into the zone. He'll take a one timer. Slapped it up high and wide. LaBeouf now ties up in the far corner with Hayden. Behind that, Agostino, room to work. It's Haggerty, the one in front of the net. Trying to feed it in front was Agostino. It was broken up, and now Agostino gets knocked down by LaBeouf. Haggerty, two center stick handles around one man. That's Hayden. Picks up speed. Here comes Haggerty into the zone. 45 seconds to go in the period. Haggerty right to the net, and it's loose at the side of the cage and cleared out towards the blue line. Picked up Miller. Trying to play it back to Karate. Couldn't do so. 
Orzetti couldn't control either. Now Roger, or excuse me, Higgs has it. He'll dump it in. Caroms off the back of the Yale goal. Miller trying to get there. He's tied up by O'Gara. Puck nearly comes off, or net nearly comes off its moorings. It's shot into the Yale bench. So we're going to whistle here in the neutral zone. 21.5 seconds to go in the second. And not a whole lot here to speak of in this second period. Uh, I believe a power play each way, uh, but no goals. Yeah, both teams here. Uh, I say RPI getting most of the opportunities, but uh, I mean Yale coming out a little bit more dangerous, They're trying to get more shots here and get more plays. But both teams here are really uh, coming with a lot of speed and a lot of effort. Face off one back to Leonard. Maybe one more push here for the Engineers. They get it deep. It rattles around to the far side half boards. McGowan just kicks it right back down low. Fallon has it now for the Bulldogs. Far side boards. Obakowski sent back the other way. They wave off the icing as it stopped behind the Yale goal. And that horn will signify the end of period number two. Engineers still leading Yale 2-1. to one. And really what has been a back and forth game, an entertaining game. RPA will try to hold on to this lead. As we head to the third, shots at 25-17 in favor of RPI. Engineers also with a pretty steady lead in the faceoff department as well, 27-18. Yale 0 for 2 on the power play with three shots. RPI 0 for 1 on the power play. It says seven shots on the man advantage, which I'm not sure if that's true or not, but uh, we'll have to... Those are official statistics they put up there, so uh, we'll you know, have to go with it for now. Yeah, I had to give it to them because RPI had a lot of great opportunities and plays in, oh, certainly. Uh, on, on their power play. And they did any, for, uh, any power play they had. That's probably the best one, uh, I think, throughout their season. Just, they were just setting up and uh, getting shots on and plays. But, uh, you know, RPI came out with the right mentality. They came out stronger, and it seemed like they controlled most of this uh, period, and at least the, the puck battles now. But they haven't really got anything, but you know, anything in the net. They kind of show for that. And uh, Yale here is uh, only down by a goal, and it's you know it can easily turn the other way. Is Yale has gotten opportunities, few, but they are uh, they're not really c uh, controlling the puck or you know uh, controlling the momentum of the game. But when they do get opportunities, they seem a little bit more dangerous, and it was kind of like three on one opportunities. Two on one, getting shot time, goal, and easy. In any one of those, actually get a deflection or anything like that, you got to tie a game. So RPI, even though they maybe on the statistics look like they are uh, winning this game, but uh, I wouldn't necessarily say that uh, at least for the mentality of the game because it can change very quickly as we got 20 minutes remaining. All right, we're going to take a quick break here at the Houston Fieldhouse after two periods of play. RPI leading Yale two to one. My name is Ryan Clark, and I'm joined by Perilous Garris on your home for Engineer Hockey on 91.5 FM, WRPI Troy. Family, I've decided we're going to test our home for radon. But we're going to have to do it fast. Whoa, whoa, what's the rush? Well, I just talked to Jones across the street, and he told me he's checking for radon this week. So? So, they got their hang em high security system first, right. and they just hired a live-in astrologer. Oh, and don't forget, they were the first ones to give their lawn a perm. Right. Yeah. Well, they're not beating me in this radon testing thing. Uh-uh, no way. Look, honey, I think it's a great idea to test for radon, but I'm not sure keeping up with the Joneses. This is a good reason to do it. All right, you got a better one? Well, radon's the second leading cause of lung cancer in the country. Huh. See? I'm smarter than I thought. Oh. High levels of radon in your home can be serious, but it can be fixed. The first step is to test your home now. It can be done quickly and inexpensively. For more information on how to test for radon, call 1-800-SOS-RADON. That's 1-800-SOS-RADON. Boy, am I Steve! Oh, what now? It rained on Jones' side of the street first. Oh. A message from the Ad Council and the EPA. Stop signs, yield signs, school signs. Signs all across our country help control our safe travel. In symbols, words, and pictures, they call out to us to slow down or stop or watch out for children. Too bad they can't actually call out. Attention motorists, two lanes are reducing to one. Slow down and prepare to merge. Did you hear something? It's the guy with the flag up ahead. What guy? The guy in the orange and black sign straight ahead. You gotta be... I didn't tell you to pull over and stop. I told you to slow down and prepare to merge. The sign is talking.
This is Zach Parisi of the Minnesota Wild. I played college hockey, as did 30% of the players I now play with and against in the NHL. start so they are close to halftime I'll get you a score there as soon as I have one just about set for the third period Way ahead of me, Ryan. Ready to go for the third period. We'll drop the puck, and we're underway. Young will shoot it off the far boards, right off the faceoff. Picked off by Leonard, who wraps it right back in. To the near half wall. Higgs can't control. Skated out to center by Hayden. Root goes down, and a offside is the whistle. 18 seconds into the third period. RPI with a 2-1 lead. And not much to talk about here, but let's just see what they... Uh, RPI and Yale are going to come out. I'm going to predict Yale is going to come out very strong and lend a pressure and going to come try to 
get more shots on goals. They previously did in the first and second. And RPI, I'm sure, are going to probably do the same and try to battle their way through. As successful as the Bulldogs have been this year is uh, skipping around and nearly falling down was the buff. Get some help from Diebold. Now it's shot into the legs of Doherty. His centering pass hits off the skate of Dechara. And now RPI able to move it out to center ice. Young far side. Neutral zone controlled and shot right back in by the engineers. Lyon stops it there. Far side boards they connect. Dechara to center. Little saucer pass to Doherty. He skates in. Nice play by Dolan to break things up at the RPI line. Near side, Neal. He'll skate into Yale territory. Shoots it off the backboards. He'll carry around to the far side to the point. Kept in Dolan. He takes a slapper. That one deflects and trickles right through the crease but goes wide. Pabella to the point. Karate a drive. That one stopped by the pad of Lyon. Now pinching up the boards is Dolan. Scooped up off of Neal. Now a shot from the point by Babella goes wide. Now it's thrown all the way down the ice. This will be icing on Yale. 18-41 on the clock. Still early on in this third period. The engineers threatening to add to their 2-1 lead. Yeah, that was kind of a shot that was made in on uh, Lyon there. And I think he had it probably in his armpit. And I think it was a little uh, nudge there from an RPI player. No, maybe not. Actually, it was kind of deflected out. And maybe deflected off the RPI player in the body. And behind it is behind him. And that just trickled wide by... Uh, well, that's about six inches. The buff shot from the point hits off the back of a teammate. That was Miller. Puck back out to center for a second. Poked back in by LaBeouf. And now forced back out to center again by Wilson and the Bulldogs. Picked up behind the cage. Leonard, long outlet pass to center ice. Killian can't knock it down. Miller's going to try and track it down near corner. Fallon gets run into by Mark Miller. McGowan trying to dig it out of the corner. Poked at by Schrader, but forced out to center by Hayden, who now goes down. Into the zone comes Killian. Shot, stick save by Diebold. Picked up by Miller. Miller just throws it near side right to Killian. His centering pass goes all the way through. Picked up by Schrader now. Far side of his own zone. Chips it out to center. Backhanded along for a second there by Fallon. Picked up by Wood for the engineers. He spins around the center of his own zone. Near side center ice, Miller. He'll flip it into Bulldogs territory. Shot behind to the far side. Or they try to move it out. That's Learned. Picked up by the engineers. Dolan. He slams it in. Caroms off the backboards. Controlled by Orzetti. Near side half wall. Good play by Wood to keep it alive in the zone. Now far side of the Yale zone. It's Young. Outlet pass near side. Learned. Into RPI territory. Leonard. He'll shoot up the glass. Can't get it past O'Gara. Now it's chipped out to center by the engineers. That was Rajik. Weber at center. Runs into a wall of players at the blue line. Trying to chip it off the boards was Zaleski. Gets some help from Tenorti out to center. Race for the puck, and it will be icing only by a hair. As Obakowski wants... Some explanation. It looked like Higgs kind of bumped him at the end of the play, but there was a pretty late whistle on that icing call. Yeah, a little physical play. He probably, I mean, definitely could have been avoided in this, but it wasn't really a really hard check or anything. It was just kind of a kind of little nudge. And it just looked bad as it, as it sounded as he went to the boards there. And um, here we go. Icing call, face off to the left, uh, the right of Evil, 1656, left in the third. Face-off kick behind for Leonard. Into the near corner of the RPI zone it goes. Agostino takes over. Handed off to Root. Team's leading assist man with 13 on the year is Jesse Root. Famously from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. The site of last year's Frozen Four. As it scooped back out to center ice. Shot far side. Eludes Boken for for a second. Now it's shot off the near glass and all the way down. It will be icing on the engineers. After a pretty good start to the period for a minute or two, a little bit of a lackluster last uh, couple minutes for the engineers. A couple of icing calls and uh, a lot of little continuity there. Yeah, they just, it just—it kind of seemed like they're falling down or miscommunication. Just one guy's changing, they pass it around, and they had a four-on-two opportunity and then passed it out to the guy that actually was changing. Not really uh, just being there with each other. Near side corner, RPI zone. Picked up O'Gara. Saved by Diebold, and he holds on. This is an important stretch. 
Coach Seth Abbott talks about it all the time, Ryan, but uh, good teams aren't going to be dominated or, or have you let you take your game to them for an entire 60 minutes. Right. There are going to be stretches where Yale's going to have the flow of play and then they just need to be withstand that. And you're, you're likely you're probably going to see that in this period itself. There will be pushback. So far, the engineers have withstood. Boken four behind his own net, leaves it for LaBeouf near corner. In the air, towards the blue line, kept in. O'Gara lines one up, slapper save, rebound still loose, still chopped at. Now it's at the side of the net and carried behind by Higgs. Higgs moves out to center. Diebold had lost his stick at the time. Now Higgs back the other way, looking to feed it in front for Boken four, who once again goes towards the net area. Now Boken four below the Yale goal line, battles for the puck in the far corner. Three to the point, Zaleski. Thought about a slapper, pulls it back, walks to the center of the ice, takes a shot, hit off the skate of O'Gara to the corner for Higgs. Back to the point where Zaleski still is. Zaleski to the slot, drops it back. Woken for a one-timer right into the midsection of Lyon. He holds on. Yeah, he didn't have an engineer in front to screen him. and Actually, uh, Lyon there had his own player in front. Uh, but he was able to see that one through. And it's and in something like that, you kind of need a deflection and something, you know, something you're not, you're not going to get. So you yeah, the face off the yellow zone, but RPI looking a little bit shaky. Not really um, seem to be playing uh, really strong hockey, and also they kind of seem to get a little bit emotional out there too. Defensive zone win for the Bulldogs. Moving out to center, chopped at and partially missed by Dolan, but the engineers do get it deep from some help from Babola, Babella rather. Excuse me. Near side, engineers keep it in. Nice work by Devito. Neal in the corner. He'll skate behind the net. Still Matt Neal to the point for Dolan. He'll just filter it right back down low behind the net. Centering pass on the backhand to Vito. That was rejected. Back to the point. Gets through the legs of Karate. Back all the way to Diebold. He'll play it off the near boards. Up the wall for DeVito from Leonard. Jimmy DeVito, the freshman. Making his 19th appearance, a goal and three assists on the season for Jimmy DeVito. Now stick handling through center. Milos Babella creates some room. Tried to feed it across near side for DeVito, but that pass was intercepted. That one hit off the glass inside the Yale bench, and that will be cause for a whistle. 14-39 to go third period. RPI with a 2-1 lead. They are also out shooting the Bulldogs 29-21. to Yeah, but Yale here is getting their, uh, getting their shots, and it seems like it's definitely creeping up. Uh, kind of squaring out with RPI. As they only have 15 minutes. This game is still up for grabs here. Leonard. D to D with Guy LaBeouf. To the center of the ice for Schrader. He'll stick handle through center ice. Still Zach Schrader. Near side McGowan gives it back to Schrader. To the point. One timer LaBeouf. Looking for the tip in front. Of the save on a try by Miller. And moved out to center by Hamden. Or Hayden rather. Now shot into the RPI zone off of an RPI stick. So it won't be icing. Behind the net Leonard. Middle of the ice for Schrader. Out to center. Behind Miller. All the way down it goes. It will not be icing as well. It's behind the Yale goal. Schrader for McGowan. Near side corner. Still McGowan to the point for Dolan. Slaps it right back down low for Miller. Far side corner now looking to feed it in front. Bokenfor was uh, moving into the far circle. Now Bokenfor behind the net. Still Craig Bokenfor to the side of the cage. Centering pass McGowan chopped at by Miller. Rebound put off the back of the net by Bokenfor. Schrader to the point for Dolan. Near side boards all the way down low once more. Schrader lets it run for Miller. He's bumped into by Jesse Root. Puck free to the far corner. Nobody knows where it is. Root not quick to go after it. Now a pass towards the near point. Glove down by McGowan. Loose and touched by Dolan. Nearly a hand pass. They'll say it touched a stick before Dolan got to it. Dolan quickly back into the zone by himself. He's taken down. Fans want a penalty. Not going to get it here. It's right back into the Yale bench. And we'll get another stoppage. 13-11 on the clock. Engineers still with a 2-1 to one lead. Yeah, RPI there stepping up, uh, pressing on the, uh, uh, right in front there, trying to get that puck in, and uh, same as opportunities they had in the second period. Getting the shots on goal, rebounds, is trying to get it through, but yells uh, there just to kind of break it up. Lerned back to his defenseman. Fallon, and now up far side into RPI territory. Lerned. Near side of the engineer zone, picked away. A shot by Learned, save on the pad by Diebold, free to the near point, picked up by Fallon. Fallon has the lone Yale goal. Cross ice, gets it back from Killian. Wrap it around to the far corner for Learned. 
Takes a bump, lost the puck. It was pushed down by LaBeouf. Now LaBeouf shoots it high in the air, and somehow that didn't hit anything up top. It was dangerously close to one of the banners in the center of the ice, but now skated back the other way by Yale. Big hit on the far side, slow to get up as Weyberg, as the engineers have it. Wood to center, tapped deep by Rogic. Back to get it will be Gus Young for the Bulldogs. Wrap it around far side, good play there. Ruffalo nearly had it out of the zone, but Zaleski keeps it alive. Now Zaleski in the corner, penalty coming up here. And they might get Haggerty. We'll see what the call is. Going to be boarding. Yale's getting the call, but I think it was out of retaliation for the one hit that was. You may be the right. Bench. The engineers touched the puck, so we might have a penalty both ways. I'm not sure. Actually, no, you're right. Actually, it's just the engineers. My bad. Yeah. Uh, I thought it was Yale. I. Yep. No, you're right. right. You're right. Now let's, yeah, that's uh, Jake Wood going off there for boarding. And this will be the third power play opportunity for the Yale Bulldogs. They are over 2 thus far. 12 8 left in the third period. Face off to the right of Diebold. So a big kill nearing the midway point of this third period. 12 minutes to go in the third. Fallon has it, takes a wrister, and he scores. Top left corner this time for Tommy Fallon. And... He has his second of the game. We're tied at two. Uh, you know, same same player, same shot almost. This time going the other side. But I like how he did. He actually tied it, took the puck a little bit to the right, tried to get the goalie to think he's going the glove side, and the player is trying to block going the other side. And until he saw a nice, clean shot, in probably a very small gap in the top uh, stick side up high, he was able to make that shot cleanly. And he uh, gets the tying goal, 2-2, two -two, and just like that. Couple of snipes from Tommy Fallon tonight. His fifth and sixth goals of the year. Tie the game at two. Power play goal for the Bulldogs. Now one for three on the man advantage. Into the zone, Babella in the far corner. He'll skate behind the net. Try to get some help from Neal. So we're now 2 2. Still a long way to go. Tie up near side half boards, Yale zone. Kicked at by DeVito. Picked up by Obakowski. Outlet pass. Knocked down at center ice by the Engineers. They try to bottle things up along the far wall. Now carried into the zone. Doherty drops it back. Rister goes wide. Hits off the back of the net. Picked up far corner by Wilson. Now the net's off. And the faceoff will come outside the zone. They'll say it was forced off by a Yale skater. Uh, this is something they actually need right here. Just going to get the puck out of the zone. But yeah, it looks like they have a lot of momentum now. And it's something they expected. You know, just like that, very quickly... Uh, you know, RPI coming in the third period, looking like they're pretty much controlling probably the same majority of it, but then it goes the other way. Power play opportunity, gets the goal, and now we have a whole new game. O'Gara slams it in. It'll rattle around to the far side half wall. Agostino couldn't get a stick on it. Skated out to center by Schrader. Schrader all by himself into the zone. He'll track it down behind the goal. Centering pass all the way through. Came from Miller. And now kept in at the far point by Dolan. Rides the dasher around to the near corner. O'Gara trying to scoop it out. Miller on it now. Loosen the slot. Schrader loses an edge and goes down or would have had a shot. Now Yale back the other way. Three on two to the RPI line. Slowly Hayden a shot. Save. Rebound comes free. Now the net's knocked off once again. And they're going to not allow RPI to make a change. As they'll say it was the engineers who forced the net off. It's kind of a slow developing three on two. Agostino fed it to the near circle. The shot was saved by Diebold. Yeah, it's kind of dangerous, and that was all Diebold there that knocked it off. And as he kind of got the pad yeah. out and just uh, kicked it off. But uh, it was a great opportunity the other way for them. Uh, yeah, they're actually connecting really well across ice. We were a couple of guys in the passes, and, and Diebold's laying up some rebounds that really should not be doing at this point in the game, or actually at never, really. Face off. Kept in by the Bulldogs, near side boards. Miller battling for it there. Knocked down in the play was Karate. And now Learned gets bumped by Karate, who didn't like getting forced to the ice there. Schrader on the carry to center once more. Poked away from him for a second uh, by Orzetti. Controlled in the Yale zone. Quick outlet pass to the RPI line. Ruffalo looking to center in front. Knocked away. Picked up in the slot. Saved by Diebold. And the rebound pops in the air. And he's able to cover up. And Dolan and Ruffalo go at it just a bit. Dolan has a couple more words for somebody else there. That was Doherty. I'm not sure 
what has Dolan so steamed. He's settled down now. Well, you know, there's our yells really coming back with uh, like a whole new confidence, a whole new mindset here, and uh, it really landed on RPI and giving uh, out great opportunities. And now you kind of see is a lot of uh, physical play, a little bit more emotion now. It's kind of escalating both sides, maybe also an RPI for giving up that tying goal. But we've got a half a period left, and let's see what he can do with it. 2-2 RPI in Yale. 10-0-8 left in the third. As the puck goes right through Haggerty, throws a hit, but he's offside. Engineers don't have the puck anyway. Shot near side by O'Gara into the zone. Stopping there, Dechara, and that shot goes way wide. Now Gus Young, uh, far point, slams one wide as well. It'll carry him to the near corner. Bulldogs track it down. Dechara behind the net. Gets it back from Doherty. Doherty back to the point. Young near point now for O'Gara. Cross ice pass to the circle. Hits off the stick of Doherty to Leonard. He'll try to spin away from Doherty. Gets free and now finds Zaleski. Center ice for Higgs. Rock Higgs into the zone. Top of the circle. Higgs down low. A shot saved by Lyon. Picked up far side of the ale zone. Runs right through to Nordy. who was looking for a hit. The puck went right past him. Picked up O'Gara again behind his own net. Lost the puck for a second. Gets it over to Young. Long outlet pass. Diving to make a poke on the play was Agostino. That one skips under the glove of Diebold so he can't cover. Centering pass intercepted by a well-placed Boken for it. And now to Nordy. Can't get it out of the zone. Agostino puts it back to the point. Foul on Arister. Save Diebold. Rebound poked at. Still loose in the top of the crease. Still loose. And now it's underneath bodies. Diebold thinks he has it. Still no whistle. And now it's going to be still no whistle, and now we get a, now we get one. It's underneath a bunch of people there. You know, I thought the rule was if you lost sight of the puck, you got to <laughs> blow the whistle, and that was almost a good couple seconds right there where the ref was really trying to find the puck out of all that scrum and bodies there. And yeah, that's Andy O'Brien over there. He is right on top of the play. You can see him holding onto the net, or we can at least. Uh, looking for the puck. He must see it somewhere. It's between the legs, it appears, of Diebold as we, uh, as we here get a second look at it. But maybe he didn't have the legs together. I'm not sure what the reasoning was. But uh, It almost looked like uh, D, uh, the ref was right over the shoulder of Diebold just looking down as Diebold's kind of sprawled out in the, the figure. And uh, But, you know, I, here RPI is taking a timeout, and uh, I think it's the right call because after that goal, that the tying goal that Yale made, and uh, it's the momentum is definitely in Yale's favor, and pretty much they're at the doorstep, uh, just getting, just knocking away and trying to get that puck in. And uh, I think it's the right move. You know, even though it's 8:42 remaining in the third, uh, you got to somehow get something moving for yourself and get the, the puck in their zone now and get something going. Yeah, Seth talked about it pregame, but the engineers have had some good third periods recently. Uh, he liked the third period and the Princeton loss, even though they obviously didn't win the game. But most importantly is how well you played you know, last time out. It was it was St. Lawrence. They were down 3-2 heading to the third. Had two goals in the, in, the, in the period and got the win. That's the kind of mentality they need to have here in this third period. In a tie game or in a close game like we have here. So face-off coming to the right of Diebold. RPI took a timeout there. Shots are now 32-28 RPI, so the Bulldogs have closed the gap just a bit. Kicked back by Bubella, picked up by Leonard. Behind for Neal. LaBeouf off the near glass, out to center ice. Controlled by Young. Across for Fallon. Up the far boards, into the zone. Hayden gets a touch on it. Helped into the corner by Diebold. Hayden now tied up with Leonard. Babella pokes at it, picked up by Root to the half wall. Agostino, he gets run into by Babella. They tie up along the boards. Far side of the RPI zone. Puck gloved down by Hayden. Now Agostino to the near point for Killian. He'll throw it towards the net. Root knocked the shot down and couldn't get his own shot away. Now Fallon fakes the shot, trying to get around DeVito. Takes a slapper, glove by Diebold. So that battle continues. As this time, Diebold is able to keep Fallon from the hat trick there. That was a heck of a shot, too. Uh, pretty solid, even I, with a wrist or a slap shot. I can see, but that was a 
No, no, you're right. Slap shot right there. And I was going to say, if it was a wrister, that had a lot of speed on it. <laughs> um, right you are. And the RPI here just it's an ankle to the test. It's keeping this as an uh, even game, a tied game here. 2-2, two, two, 7.56 to go in the third. Another defensive zone draw for the Engineers. McGowan helps it far side of his own end. To the wall for Dolan, behind for Karate. He'll work it towards the point for Miller. Miller to center into the skates of McGowan, who controls it and shoots it deep. Witted for Yale. Tries to shoot it far side. Dechara has it. Two center ice to Wilson. Into the zone they come far side. Wilson to the circle. Takes a shot. Save. Rebound swept away by Schrader. To the point. Dechara carries into the circle. Takes a tight angle shot. It was blocked by Miller. He's trying to get his stick free. Now he does. Shoots it around behind to the near side point. McGowan's going to get there first for RPI. Out to center he goes. Poked off his stick by Wilson. Shot cross ice. Karate will just backhand it out to center. Trying to glove it with Schrader. Controlled by Yale. Doherty back to his own end for O'Gara. You are listening to live coverage of RPI Hockey. 91.5 FM WRPI Troy. Pair of the Ryan Clark on the call here. From the Houston Fieldhouse. We're under seven minutes to go in the third period. In a 2-2 game between the 13th ranked Yale Bulldogs. And the engineers of RPI. Brock Higgs all tied up with Learned in the far corner. He'll cycle for Haggerty. He gets taken into the wall. Now Zaleski near corner. Trying to walk out with it. Still Zaleski shielding the puck. Gets free from his man. He spun Young all around. Haggerty trying to make a move around. It's going to be smothered on the glove. Smart play by Lyon there as Haggerty tried to dance around his man. In doing so, flicked the puck right to the side of the Yale goal. And Lyon covered it. Trying to get it around him, but he tried to feed it out in front. But I think he really just kind of wanted to get it around the man and try to make a play. The Lions saw that come out and just covered it up right at the post. 634, RPI now getting a faceoff in their zone. This is something they really need to capitalize on, win the faceoff and try to set something up. Faceoff pushed back towards or behind the Eel goal. Knocked out to center ice. First one there is Zaleski. Shoots it near side. Spun to the Yale blue line by LaBeouf. Shot back the other way, and it will not be icing on the Bulldogs. Shoot it around near point. Engineers trying to get it out of their own end, and they do. Foul at center. Crosses center off the deflection of Dag or Agostino, rather. Controlled by the Engineers. Near side corner, Wood. He'll backtrack a bit behind his own net, trying to get away from some forecheck pressure. Far side, Haggerty in the air to center. Glove down by O'Gara. Shot far side, Haggerty nearly picked it off. But the Bulldogs shoot it in once more. Diebold stops it behind his own net. LaBeouf up the near wall. Connects to Wood. Outlet pass to the neutral zone. Too far out in front of Haggerty. Shot back to center. Leonard has it. Waiting for Haggerty to get back on side to just dump it in anyway. Haggerty touches up and actually goes off on a chain. Five and a half to go now in the third. Good break up at the blue line. Keep it alive for the Engineers. Tenorti in the corner. Spins there to the point. Boken for. Near point one-timer. Dolan. Save made by Lyon, and he'll cover it. That was a save on, but I'm not sure where that puck kind of landed. It went to his chest or maybe his pad, and uh, I feel like it got pinched into somewhere. Um, whistle wasn't blown. RPI just seemed like they could still play with it and try to maybe try to get the puck pop out, but... Whistle blown. Things escalate. Uh, players push, shove, and we get a face off here to the right. 520 remaining in the third. Near side draw of the Yale zone. Learned gets run into by Neal. Kicking at it is DeVito. Centering pass, one timer, and Neal just got a little bit of the puck. His stick was a bit tied up by Fallon. Now near point, Dolan takes a wrist shot, easy save. As Lyon saw it all the way. Babella battling for it. Near side half boards. Towards the point kept in by Dolan. DeVito at the hash marks. Works down below the goal line in the corner. Spins back. Centering pass. Looking to find his man. Bokafor in the back door. He fell down. Now a chance for Yale. Into the zone they come. Looked to be a close play at the line. Kicked at by Babella. He'll get there. That could have been a three on two for the Bulldogs. But a bad pass broke it up. Now Neal into the zone. All by himself. One on four as the engineers change behind him. Neal goes behind the net. Trying to get away from a check from Fallon. Good play by Neal to bottle things up. And now finds Schrader. 
Trader trying to center, lost the puck, Sk- stick handled out to center by the Bulldogs. Weyberg into the RPI zone. He's tied up by LaBeouf, lost the puck, takes another shove from the RPI senior defenseman, and now the engineers move it out to center. Beatty, cross ice pass. Wittick slams it in. Rings around to the near corner. Coming up on four minutes to go in the third. Bulldogs can't keep it in the zone. Out to center it goes O'Gara. Ruffalo gets run into by Miller. Engineers trying to change the pucks right at the bench. They better be careful here. Into the zone they come. Near side circle. Tight angle shot saved by Diebold up against the post. And he holds on as he collapses in the crease. Not trying not to let that thing into the net. He has it controlled. Yeah, right between the chest and the arm there. He just pinched it in and he just... They did not want to move a muscle until the whistle was blown just in case he released it and it went behind him. And he honestly he kind of fell forward too just to make sure also. Here we got the uh, 350 here left in the third period. RPI both and Yell tied at two. And had a defensive faceoff in the RPI zone. Faceoff one back by Zaleski. Backhanded around behind to the far side by Karate. Haggerty's there. Played it back towards his own net for Karate. Up the wall again. That one hits off the back of Haggerty. Agostino trying to center. Intercepted by Dolan, who flips it near side for Higgs. Higgs out to center. Haggerty trying to chase it down. He'll get there. He's all by himself. Has a teammate trailing. A move by Haggerty. Trying to walk in front. Net comes off. It was kicked off by Lyon. And now Roots on top of Haggerty. And no more is made of that. It was a move. Haggerty faked like he was going behind the net and tried to walk out in front. And it forced Lyon to kick the net off. And they're going to say it was Haggerty maybe who forced it off. We'll see where the faceoff comes. Yeah, I'm trying to think whether he was it pushed from like, behind. Yeah, it looked like Lyon is the one who kicked it off. But we'll see where they turn the face off here. I think Lyon was surprised that Haggerty tried to walk in front of the net instead of yeah. going behind like uh, mm-hmm. a lot of players do. He tried to step right in front of the net. And it was kicked it, off yeah, by it that. It looked like, like the right was... skate of uh, Lyon there. Yeah, I think you're right too. Uh that view of ours, uh, the replay was kind of difficult to see. They're not allowing but Yale to change, so they're saying, it, yes, it was, in fact, the Bulldogs who were responsible for the net coming off. Shots 35-31 RPI, 2-2 the score. 326 left in the third period. Picked up by Young behind his own net. He'll try the aerial pass to center. That one's intercepted. Shot near side by Dechara. There's another centerized collision. Young is just a bit slow to get up. Neal in his own end. Near side to the blue line for Higgs. Higgs crosses center. Loses Agostino, then shoots it off the back of him. Now a chance for Yelsh on the break. Walking in. Dechara, slapper, save, made, rebound. Carried behind neatly by Babella. May have been better off just clearing that puck, but he skated with it with an open net behind him, behind the cage. Chance there for Dechari. Went with a slap shot. That was the Mike Zaleski choice earlier in this game. Did not work out this time for Dechari, who shot it right into Diebold. Still pressuring is Yale. In the corner, Wilson. Poked at by Babella. Gets some help from Dolan. Babella reaching for it. Can't control. It's in the between the legs of Dolan. Picked away by Wilson. Engineers intercept the pass. Dolan skates it out to center. 2.22 to go in regulation time. Off the boards. Dolan trying to track it down. He's out of gas. It's shot behind the Yale goal. Neal trying to get on it for the Engineers. He's tied up with Doherty. Shoots it around far side. Karate can't keep it in the zone. Out to center it goes. Luke Karate has it for RPI. Stops in his own zone. Throws it off the stick of the forechecker. Now he'll play it behind for LaBeouf. Up the near boards to McGowan. Miller into the zone. Taken over there by Orzetti. To the neutral zone. The Engineers take it right back. Karate off the wall. 1.45 1.45 to go. Chasing it down in their own zone are the Bulldogs. O'Gara, far side for Young. To center ice, intercepted, shot right back in by Miller. It'll come down right behind the Yale goal. O'Gara has it. He'll start things up on the breakout. Near side, gets it back. He'll try the far side for Young. Cross ice pass for Learned. Into the RPI zone, he comes. Takes a wrister right on and a save by Diebold. Faceoff coming in the RPI end of the ice. 121 to go. We're still tied at two. It's coming down to the wire here. Of course, we have five minutes of extra time, but uh, RPI, I mean, you got to put like give a lot of credit. Yell's doing a great job just even uh, pinching it against the boards. RPI struggling just to even get passes out. And 
I think at this point they need to try to just go straight up the ice and break out and maybe hopefully set up. But it seems like every single time the Yale stick gets in their way, they just steal the puck right for them. Based off here in the in their engineer zone. Yale Bulldogs so far this season, they're 11 6 and 4, but have not swept a weekend or been swept. Uh, that's two losses or two wins in any weekend so far this year. So they've kind of had an up and down kind of year, but the record really doesn't reflect that. Engineers get it out to center. Big hit on Higgs. Root didn't see him coming. Fans like it. Root slow to get up here. I believe the puck left the ice surface. Clean hit there as Root just did not have his head up. And the faceoff's going to come here. Root heads over to the linesman. Agostino pointing to the scoreboard. But we're just going to get a new puck here. Yeah, I don't think he can look at it or anything like that. But, uh, but yeah, I think it was kind of clean. It's not like he went directly to the head, but he was more with his uh, arms out is where really kind of led the hit and uh, pushed him over. To the line, kept in by Zaleski. Haggerty's going to get there. Here's a man in front. He'll skate behind the net. Haggerty pinned against the boards. Higgs there to help him out. Under a minute to go in the third in a 2-2 game. Kicked at by Haggerty. He's double teamed. Still tied up. Higgs comes to help him again. To the far corner it goes. Leonard will pinch in. Leonard behind for Higgs. Off for Haggerty. Wraparound try. Rebound comes free to LaBeouf. He couldn't get the shot away. Zaleski near side. Working it down low. Haggerty can't control. Picked up by Higgs. Centering pass. Zaleski knocked out of the air. Can't clear on the fan. Picked up near side. LaBeouf a shot. Rebound Zaleski. Pad save made by Lyon. Centering pass. Higgs puts it over the top. To the far corner it goes. 17 seconds to go. Near point LaBeouf towards the net. That one's knocked away. Picked up by Doherty. Backhanded all the way down. If it's on goal, it will not be. It'll be icing on Yale here. Seven seconds to go. And the engineers all but ended this one there with a couple of great chances at the Yale goal. You know, great opportunities right there. That's something you absolutely need. Uh, really establish the momentum. If they don't, RPI does not get this gap. Uh, and his winning goal right here at the last seconds of play. The Leafs have a, a good mindset and when I'm going into the second, uh, going into the overtime. But here it looks like uh, Yale's taking the timeout with seven seconds. Uh, you know, you kind of look at seven seconds uh, is quite a, is enough time, really, to actually kind of get a play or two uh, maybe set up. Um uh, but kind of interesting to take the time out now rather than saving it to the OT. But you know what? I think uh, Keith Lane wants his players to be in the right mindset going into the overtime if they do end up doing that. By no means was that a clean attempt there for Brock Higgs. He had a man right in front of him. He just got, just reached and got his stick on the puck. And whether it was on edge or in the air when he hit it, it went right over the top of the net. The engineers threatening, of course, setting up a play of their own. The Bulldogs, on the other hand, uh, took the icing call, so uh, Coach Keith Lane is in his uh, eighth year at the helm of the Bulldogs, wanting to get his, his group up there a chance to rest, of course, and uh, can't, keep, uh, can't take the uh, timeout with you, so he'll use it here. Shots so far, like 37 for the Engineers. I believe 32 for the Bulldogs. That's not official. Anyway, faceoff coming here. In the Bulldog zone, Rogic on the draw. Haggerty stands at about his 8 o'clock, looking for a quick draw and a shot. We'll see. Face off. One and shot out of the rink by O'Gara. So we'll do it all over again. 4.1 seconds on the clock now. Can't imagine three seconds ran off there, but... He will do it again. Face off coming. 4.1 seconds from overtime. And now Rogic and Root both going in early before the puck is dropped. Jason Shaddy drops the puck. It's on the dot. Haggerty trying to get his shot away with one second. Can't do it. And that will end regulation here at the Fieldhouse. Shots are 37-33, excuse me. 
but uh, goals 2-2, and that will send us to overtime. Yeah, it's RPI really knocking at the doorstep at the last minutes there, this right move. They could have, they had a lot of great opportunities. I think a lot of the, the whole game they had a good opportunities, but just not able to actually uh, put it away. You know, you got to look, you have a lot of credit to Yale just being, uh, you know, boxing out the any rebounds in, in front of the net and then breaking up and blocking shots also. Uh, i got to give a lot of credit to the Lion there, uh, you know, uh, the goalie for Yale to actually even, uh, you know, uh, making the saves that he did and uh, seeing through the screens and that sort. Uh, but now we get just got five minutes left here uh, in overtime. And, of course, uh, no one scores. And he just hands out ties. And, uh, and you kind of wonder, like, how are you going to go through here? Going from that third period, do you think RPI is really going to have the momentum now going into overtime? No, it's true. No, I, yeah, I don't know if there is momentum. I mean, uh, that group for RPI, that top line, has done a lot of damage recently in the last few games, and they were the ones out there at the end of the game. That's how you kind of plan things. You want Haggerty and then Zaleski and Higgs uh, to be out there wreaking havoc in the offensive zone at the end of the game. We'll see if this break is long enough. They get maybe the second or third shift here uh, in this overtime session, or if they come back out with them right away and try to end it right in a hurry. Of course, then again, you have the McGowan-Miller-Schrader line who's been playing well, and as well as uh, Rubella, Neal, and DeVito, who, you know, Coach Appert talked about DeVito picking up his game recently. That group hasn't been together all that long, but we'll see if they're able to kind of mesh here in the next few, you know, upcoming weeks and if that becomes a, a group that can contribute offensively as well. Looks like they're keeping the same line. Yep. The engineers The top there. group's going back out there. Yeah. That two-minute break was long enough, says RPA head coach Seth Appert. As we are ready for the third period, or excuse me, overtime. Zaleski wins it back to LaBeouf. Shot up the far boards into Yale territory. Now Agostino into the zone just on side. Scooped high in the air off the scoreboard, and we're going to get a faceoff in the RPI zone. That's tough luck for the engineers. We're just trying to clear the zone. It shot off the flat side of the center ice scoreboard. And yeah, the faceoff will remain in the zone. That's... Like you mentioned, unfortunate. And you're kind of only 11 seconds they ticked off. Now let's see. They're going to switch out the lines now. Yep. At least the forward lines, it looks like. Root against Babella on the faceoff to the right of RPI netminder. Scott Diebold. Hayden gets knocked down, takes a shot. It's sticked away by Diebold into the near corner. Penalty coming up here. Babella touches the puck, and we're going to have a power play for Yale in this overtime. Agostino was the one who was dumped behind the RPI goal, lost his glove. Uh, but it will be the engineers who take the penalty, and it's going to be Guy LaBeouf. It looks like he's holding his wrist there. Is the kind of a... Oof. Yeah, and he, he went in stick first. Uh, you know, he used the, his stick and his, um, his brace wrist himself, and yeah. actually to brace himself into the wall and... Uh, yeah, that was a uh, right call. Gilabuff here was getting the boarding, and um, it's kind of yeah. dangerous. It's either that or your shoulder, or your head, and then I, I, you know your wrist is probably better off. And, but you know it's a dangerous hit, and it's something you shouldn't do. And that's a legitimate call, uh, Guy Labuff here. Nowhere to hide for Guy Labuff, who uh, not only did he hit the man in the boards from behind, but he also did not have the puck. That being Agostino. So power play time here for Yale. They're one for three. Puck behind the RPI goal to the point. Young keeps it in. Near point, O'Gara. O'Gara back to Young. High slot. Far side circle. Wilson down low for Doherty. Behind for Stu Wilson. To the near corner he goes. He's tied up by Dolan. Picked up far corner by Doherty. To the point for Young. Back to Doherty. Down low for Young. Centering pass in front. Turning back to the point. A shot and a goal. This one's over. An overtime game winner for Mike Doherty, the freshman out of Reading, Massachusetts. And his fifth of the year gives the Bulldogs a 3-2 OT win. Yeah, see, you know, it's kind of interesting. It seemed like they had the three forwards or three men out in front just cycling around there outside the perimeter. And then uh, and they just dished it out in front to a player, a yell player. And there was two yell players up in the uh, up in the action range of the goal, uh, the goal area there. Only one RPI defenseman and he kind of had plenty of time to kind of move it around and uh, 
you're going to see is the left the one yellow player screen the guy and the other one having the puck dish it out in the slot and just took a shot in you know between the faceoff circles and finds the pathway into the goal and they win it right there. So just 59 seconds into overtime, the Yale Bulldogs score the goal on the power play, their second power play goal of the evening. And the engineers will have to wait till tomorrow. It'll be there should be an unhappy engineers team when they take on Brown in the 37th Big Red Freakout. It's a 3-2 defeat in OT, and it's college hockey. There are no uh, points or anything given out to the team that loses in OT, so it just goes in as a loss. But, uh, you know, tough for RPI for how they played against a team, you know, that's near them in the standings. They're going to have to really uh, bounce back to get those two points tomorrow and try to hang with these teams. Uh, that being Yale and Brown here. Yeah, so you kind of look, you know, RPI just, uh, you know, they kind of seem like they dominated probably six minutes of the game, but they really only able to come up with two goals out of it. And, uh, you know, we kind of talked about, you know, you got 20 minutes left in the game, and you're going to, you know, Seth Everett has mentioned that no team is just going to be absolutely uh, – dominant the, all 60 minutes and that was the moment for Yale to kind of come out and uh, shine and they did getting the tying goal and the momentum going their way and uh, RPI it seemed like at the final minutes they're really uh, you know almost feeling like they were going to get it you know and then you get the, the penalty and then it's just kind of a breakdown right there and just simple as that the uh, you know Yale is disciplined and uh, very skilled to capitalize on a breakdown like that, and they put it away in just 59 seconds into overtime. And what appeared to kind of be going to like after two periods of play, RPI having the upper hand just actually quickly went the other way, and now they come out with a loss, and not even just a, not even a tie, but come out with a loss for tonight's action. So. Yeah, well, on the plus side, tomorrow is the 37th annual uh, Big Red Freakout. So the game's already sold out, I'm being told. Uh, so expect an even bigger crowd than this evening. I didn't hear the attendance figure, but I, from a you know, reliable source, it was going to be around 4,000 tonight. It did sound like a pretty big crowd. It did look like one as well. I can't quite see what's to the north side of the Houston Fieldhouse, which is the, usually the more crowded side of the rink, but uh, the South side was pretty uh, well represented, so we we'll expect a big crowd tomorrow for the yearly event, the Big Red Freakout RPI taking on Brown. And uh, Ryan, a game that, uh, you know, Brown's given the engineers trouble in this building, especially in the playoffs recently, so if there's any more reason for RPI to be fired up, the fact that they lost an overtime game tonight, they're playing against a Brown team that's knocked them out of... Uh,